We're here. Voices, I can't see we dance, dance, but I'm dancing. Voices, <laughs> we 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 are sisters with voices. Yeah. Ah. Good. I'm so Good. sorry, y'all. You, see, you don't you don't stream in a couple weeks. You forget. And you forget what mm-hmm. to do. Uh, Hi. Okay. So <laughs> Someone has a lot of bass, but that's okay. We need the bass. <laughs> We're all about that bass. That bass. <laughs> no trouble. <laughs> all right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, Rivals of Waterdeep Take You to Hell, or I Shall as your DM. So, since it isn't our regular show, what I'm going to ask everyone to do is to that that side of me because we're reversed uh brandon go first introduce yourself who you're playing in this one shot and we'll go around till we come back to me hi uh i brandon stennis uh today i will be playing red lead on same person i've been playing this <laughs> entire series so uh we're bringing Ren and back into the game and uh we're in hell so as you can see I don't know who's I, Cicero. Sharif is next. Sharif is next. Oh, me? Okay. You are uh, next. Hey, I, yes, uh, I'm Sharif Jackson. And I will be playing Shaka, uh, the, the the return of Shaka. Uh, oh, yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> Chiefling Warlock. Um, and lo- looking forward to uh, what's going on. Oh, and my pronouns are he, him, as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, I am Latia Jaquis. Uh, I will be playing. Drumroll, Dahani. I'm I'm playing Dahani. Your, your favorite <laughs> murder bird, your favorite murder bird monk, ready to to punch some other birds and stuff. It's gonna be good. My pronouns and her pronouns are she her. And I'm Masudak, and I'm new here. Hi, it's nice to meet y'all. Uh, <laughs> my pronouns are he him, and I'm gonna be playing Udhin Fidio, who y'all haven't met yet, and I, you're gonna learn about him when you meet him in campaign. So. Keep your uh, keep your grip on your seats at the edge of your seats. I don't know. Just be excited. <laughs> Hold on to your butts. <laughs> Hold on to your butts. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. And I'm Tanya. Normally, I play Lisa Storio, your human paladin who's always grumpy and in one of a bath. But today, I'm your DM, and I'm taking everyone on a merry ride to hell. Um, before we get started, we do have. A little out of order, a little strange uh, way of doing our, our sponsorship since it's not a normal episode, but I believe Sharif has a, a thing to share about what we're doing today with our sponsor, d d Beyond. Yeah, so um, d d Beyond has been sponsoring us for, you know, since the beginning, so make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com. Um, and I... I uh, forgot the rest of the sponsorship. Uh, uh, we are giving yeah. away yeah. <laughs> a pre-order code for the upcoming yes. uh, Mythic Odyssey of Theros, which is not out yet. So if you win, you will get a pre-order code on D&D Beyond, and it will unlock for you on June 2nd. Mm-hmm. And that pre-order code gets you all sorts of really cool stuff, like the character backgrounds and the little icon dealies and a whole lot of really cool graphics that you can use in the on your character sheet. Super cool. Um, really excited for it like i don't know i've always been a big fan of like that greek and like uh god overlay and like that historical fiction that they're doing so pretty cool setting yeah so <laughs> yay sharif i th- that was all me talking i was just impersonating the <laughs> so i don't worry i had this all down i had it all down pat yeah so uh make sure to check them out at D D. Beyond.com, and they added. Uh, you can roll some dice now. Uh, yes. And on 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 your character sheets, you can both look at, at your sheet, and you can m- make some die rolls. So uh, um, uh, make sure to check that out. It's like pretty satisfying, you know. Um, nice uh, 3D dice there, so it's cool. Um, and uh, for the for uh, those of us that are using the physical dice here, we are. Of course, if we're using our dice, we're going to be using our level up dice. Um, and of course, if you want to purchase anything from level up dice, make sure to, to, to use our link in our Diceomancy program, which is bit.ly slash LUD Rivals of Waterdeep. And as you make purchases, we get points and we level up and we are able to get access to things and uh, hopefully raffle, raffle those things back off to the community as well. Um, so make sure to support our Dice Mancy program if you're going to make uh, purchases on Level Up Dice. Yes, so who's ready to go to hell with me? 
All of us are. Yay. <laughs> oh boy. So, um, the setting is this. You all have been having a great time as, as traveling together as rivals. And, you know, everyone's kind of settled in their ways. Everyone's had great times. You're, you're doing well. You know, for, an ex for adventurers, you're doing well. No one's broke. No one's dead yet. And Ren, our erstwhile elven sorcerer, is trying to go legit. You know that he has an affinity <laughs> for gold. And he also has very interesting love lives, as, as we've seen through the seasons. And Ren, in wanting to impress his love Gideon and have enough to settle down with him forever and ever, because they're elves, it will be forever and ever, he has asked you all to, to do one last job. And you think, sure, we've, we've gone to hell, we've done all this stuff, no worries, no problems. But what you didn't count on when you got there was a very angry dragon. You see, Rin's love of gold brought you to an untimely end. All of you are dead and in hell. Oh, sorry. Um, and side note, I did clear this with Brandon first. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The press. yeah I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I cleared this with Brandon first. We're not, we're not doing weird things. Um, and so Avernus is not strange to you all because you have been there, except you were very much alive the last time you went to Avernus. This time you are quite dead. So you all are on this plateau. On one side, you can see the river Styx. On another side, you can see buildings kind of far off in the distance. And as you all were dying, Selyse threw out a placation to tear to not let this be the end. Mostly so she could strangle Rin later, but she's not going to. <laughs> um, and Tyr heard her plea, but it was a little late to save you, save you from shuffling off the mortal coil, but he offered a deal. The question is, Selyse is nowhere to be found, and you all are coming to as much as dead folks can in Avernus. How is everyone kind of coming around and also... You notice Selyse is gone, but you notice a stranger that's in your group that you that was not in your party when you all became dragon food. Um, I have a question. Uh, do we know that we're dead? Like, do we like are, like do we know we're dead, or do we think we somehow got transported, or are we like, no, we're definitely dead? Make me a perception check. All right. All of us are just first roll of the one shot. Okay. Uh, let me know what your perception is. Yep. Because uh, we're okay. Seventeen. Oh, are we is all it, rolling? Yeah. Is anyone else rolling oh. or just? Oh, I, got shot? I got a fourteen. Okay. I got a way more than both of those. <laughs> can Can I get a number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eighty-two. <laughs> I was, like, I was like, a number, please. Um, Sood, what did your character get? Let me roll a d20. I got a two. Oh, oh Sweet. boy. Yeah. So what am, I, what am I adding to that? Uh, whatever your perception roll would be. Okay, well, let, let's, let's see what that is. Uh, oh, I got a nine. Oh. Okay. Sure. Not bad. You know yeah. something's well, not... Welcome you, to the group. You know yeah. something's rotten in Denmark. You're not quite mm -hmm. sure what, though. Um, so uh, everyone else, you know that you are dead, as in mm -hmm. shuffled off this mortal coil. Although your bodies seem to be fine, because you would expect the last thing seen as you were alive was a dragon. You would expect to be a little bit more crispy, but you're not. But you do know that you are no longer alive in the traditional sense. Um, so what are you all doing as you kind of come around and... Um, Masood, your character, if you would like to either come over to them or wait and yeah. see if someone notices you um, in the group. Uh, so I think you see um, within kind of hunched over, he's got a cloak okay. uh, over his head, um, kind of eyeing the group. And 
he's trying to be subtle, but there's no way not to notice it. Uh, he's a loxodon, so okay. he's a part elephant humanoid, and he's very large, pretty massive. Um, and I think for him in this scenario, uh, he's a cleric, a disciple of Tyr, um, and a little confused that he's in hell with people he's never met before, considering the last thing he remembers was fighting a dragon alone. Okay. Um, so what do the others do when you notice this Loxodon approaching you and near you? Um, Dahani is trying to shake um, hell dust out of her feathers. Hell dust? Uh, so you just see her like doing like that bird shuffle and yeah. like shaking out her wings oh, God. and uh, checking on Rin and checking on Shaka, who she's heard about, but hasn't met yet. Mm. Yeah. Um, and uh, trying to get everybody up and probably being a little bit defensive. Like, this is a new thing, and my friends are not ready to deal with it yet. So she's got, like, her wings are out, and she's, like, ready to fight. All right. Yeah, as you're checking on Shaka... Um... You know, he uh, is uh, poking himself because he is trying to, he's like, so he recognizes that he's dead. So he is kind of uh, fascinated by what, like, am I reanimated? Am I still a person? So he's trying to, like, uh, poke himself, pinch himself, see if it has any effect uh, as you are trying to uh, console him. You just see him weirdly uh, poking at his arm. Trying to see if he can get a reaction. Like, does does it still hurt? Is it something else? Am I a zombie? Like, you know, what's, what's, which which one of these things that I've been speculating about for years is actually true? Zombie Shaka. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like Ren like uh, gets in front of Tahani and is like, Paul, who are you? Uh, oh, Pulls out his his yeah. dagger just in case. Wow, you you turned into a murder hobo in like thirty <laughs> seconds. <laughs> just like real quick. I'm just surprised he found his dagger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and how things are quite different. Wow. So yeah, Red is like, uh, how, who are you? Uh, I pull back the hood. Um. Oh, hello. Um, it's nice to meet you all. Uh, my name is Udhan. Um, I greetings of tear upon you. Um, on this must holy day. Uh, yes. Hi. I'll be honest. Who are you? What? Are, what is going on here? Well, we're the rivals. And I posed too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I'm still Jack poking myself. Too. Come on! I'm I'm still poking myself. I'm I'm kind of not really paying attention to this. Okay, movie. well, we're the rivals, and he's just with us. <laughs> what, what? Wow! Who's wow. what? Uh, Last thing I remember was, and the, you see, like these, like he he's got like a couple three earrings on his left massive ear, uh, nothing on his right, and they like jingle a little bit as he looks around and uh, shakes his trunk. Uh, Last thing I remember was getting score about to be consumed by a fireball, and he like looks around at like the little flames and hellscape around him. Uh, yeah, what? Why are you here? Oh, we it we are. I remember we were fighting this dragon, and I started screaming, and, like, its mouth, like, went over my head, and then everything went to black, and then we woke up, and this this oddly looks very familiar, and Shaka, I don't know if this feels familiar to you. Uh, yeah, so at this point, I've joined the conversation. Um, my arm is a little, uh, a little uh, weirdly uh, fricked at this point. Um, and, uh, I say, well, um, 
we're in a part of Avernus I don't recognize, um, which is weird because I know that Ash, Ashmore and I have been uh, traveling around, um, but I don't recognize th- 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 this part. Um, and, and then I turn to uh, this Loxodon and I say, um, uh, we're, we're from Waterdeep. Uh, where are you from? Water deep? No, I'm. I'm from many places, friend. I travel quite a bit. No places my own, but I've been to Water Deep. Can't say I've seen it much lately. My home is uh, far away, across the sea, and here I am alone, and now. Uh, did you say Avernus? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. I mean, I that's... mean, given the smell and the look of the sky and this river, by, by, by the way, stay away from that river. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, stay God. away from that no, river. No, 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 no. no. Tear, you promised you me. You... Can... What is this? You turned to, he's having an existential crisis. Um, so, Udin, as, as you call out to Tear in that moment, you feel a warmth in your chest and you know the tear is communing with you and he, he passes on Salisa's plea. And what he tells you is that you must get to Fort Knucklebone. And if you can prove yourself by slaying a monster, then you will be allowed to go home if you so choose. Uh other than falling down to the ground, arms outstretched to the sky, head cocked back. Um, mm-hmm. Guys, it's fine. I know exactly what we need to do. Okay, uh, we gotta go to this fort knuckle bone, and then we gotta kill somebody, and then we'll be alive again. And it's all fine. It's okay. Everything is all that okay. Is a very, very abrupt missing. No, uh, my God, talk to me. Tear talked to me and told me this is what we need to do. It's fine. We're okay. It's okay. Wait, you wait. You just got here. You're already giving us us like commands and things <laughs> we're supposed to do. Uh, or, well, I have one question. Has anyone not noticed Elise is not here? Yes, I have noticed that. I, who's Elise? <laughs> Our pilot of tear. Wait, did she survive? And we all went to hell. Oh, this is also my fault. I mean, maybe she killed us. <laughs> I mean, I. I, well, I did bring us in this situation once again. I'm sorry, everybody. I didn't mean for everybody to get killed like this. I was just trying to like, get some money so I could live happily. I'll be honest. I forgive you. It's okay. Thank you. I don't know you, but I really appreciate that. That it, it means a lot that someone at least is like, you know. Being I mean, it's not your fault that I'm dead. It might be your fault that I'm dead. But, Possibly, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I, you know, if it's not, I forgive you. I, I mean, if it is, we'll see. Yeah, I just, I need a second. <laughs> just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this way real quick. Maybe, I'm turning, cry. <laughs> maybe Celeste landed somewhere else, and maybe we'll find her on the way to Fort Knucklebone. We should, we should search awesome. for her. What do you think, Shaka? Well, I mean, the last time we were at Fort Knucklebone, we, uh, you know, we uh, met up with Mad Maggie and we found all those Infernal War machines and all that stuff. But if I remember right, we, Fort Knucklebone just kind of appeared um, when we uh, interacted with uh, Lulu. Um, so I'm not quite sure how to get there because I remember it just kind of appearing. So um, I turned to uh, Loxodon and say, do you have an idea how to get to Fort Knucklebone? Um, I can I make a perception check to see if I like, or is it what? What would what would it be to know the way? Would it be like a, a religion or? Um, in your case, since you've never been there, because the rivals have been there before. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, in your case, it would either be insight. Or religion. Okay. I will roll an insight check. Okay. And see how I do. I got a dirty 20. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 
So while you are, are new to the infernal climbs of Avernus, Tyr is helping you as much as as much as he is allowed to and can reach you in a place like Avernus. Mm-hmm. And you look to the river sticks and you know to the right there's cliffs, there's jagged things that you if you had the time, you could explore and go around and see what lies that way. But there is a way being shown to you, which is kind of straightforward. It's not close. It's not like you'll walk for like an hour and get there. IRL maybe, because who knows. Um, but in game time, it, it'll be a, it'll be most of the day to walk. Luckily, there's no time limit on when you have to slay this monster. Otherwise, it's not like you got to be done by 5 p.m., so <laughs> it's not like oh uh, y'all ain't done by five <laughs> Avernus time you just stuck in hell forever um so you are being guided as gently as he can because the whole point is for you all still to prove yourselves worthy to come back to the mortal realm cool. so you can pass this information on um and also the other rivals are you checking for Selyse I mean you notice that she's gone is is checking for her on the way because, as far as you know, she is nowhere in hell to be seen. Is there anything around? Like, is it just all kind of like flat wasteland, or like, is there anything that we would do a search in? Are there any like uh, structures or things that she could possibly be, or do we just see kind of flat nothingness around us? Um. Right around you, there's flat nothingness. As you gaze down the way that Udin is looking, you do notice what looks to be maybe a village, but you're you're far enough away where you can't tell quite what it is, whether it's just like a trading post, if it's um, just people on the road and kicking up dust. But before you find anyone, right now you're not going to find anything but, but hell dust, as Donnie said. Um, but you can either start going the way that Udin has, has sent you and pointed you, or you could do other things before you start trying to find Fort Knuckledown. Um, I like, I, I just tell the group everything that I learned and I'm okay. just like, yeah, I, um, I have, a, I have a feeling it's that way. And I just kind of like point with my arm and trunk, um, along the path towards that village area. Yeah. Um, Dahani is going to uh, get a better view of the area, so she's going to fly about 50 feet up Okay. and do like a scan of the area, just like a general perception check, okay. see if there's anything else nearby before we start heading on. Cool. That is a 15, 15 perception. Okay, so since Dahani can fly, uh, she's an Aarakocra for those that have not seen uh, Dahani in action. You notice that there is a village, and you also notice what looks to be infernal war machines. Mm. They're they're driving down toward the direction that Udin pointed. Um, they're not really stopping, and they're not the giant, like, we're coming to take out your whole town war machines. They're more like a little over the top for daily transport, if there is daytime or daily anything in Avernus. <laughs> um and they just seem to be like kind of headed in that direction that Udina's has pointed you. So there is a village. Um, so again, you can reco- reconnoiter, reconnoiter. I can't word very well. Reconnoiter. Um, thank you. I always mess that word up. Um, you can reconnoiter a bit. You can you can kind of point them in the way to go, or you all can start walking and then catch Dahani. Not literally. Please don't take her out of the sky. <laughs> I have, I, even though you corrected Tanya, I have no idea what that word means. To, to, to say, it you know. means regroup, basically. Reconnoiter. Yeah. Reconnoiter. Okay. I have learned regroup. something today. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will point that out. Um, Dahani will make a, a special note of mentioning the very clunky things that are kicking up dust because she's never seen a war machine in her life. Okay. Uh, so she will describe them as. Uh, really fast moving carts okay. that are kicking up a lot of dust. <laughs> um, and I don't know if they're a good thing or a bad thing, but there is life in that direction for sure. All right. Well, I'm going to look around and I'm going to say, um, well, 
I mean, I guess that's the first place that we should go. Um, but then I turn to uh, our Loxon friend and say, um, let's just hope that, uh, you know, that your senses are right. Because um, I still don't 100% uh, trust the stranger. Uh, so so I'm, I'm, I'm heading there, but like hastily. I'm, well, not, not hastily. Like I am, uh, I am like a, a little on edge, I guess. Uh, when you say hope your senses are right, uh, but then it goes, hope's unneeded when we have faith, because hope's a guarantee. It's going to oh, be very God. annoying about tear. Yeah, I'm know. definitely right now. <laughs> do, I'm going to do like some sort of face palming, uh, <laughs> face palming motion and like hope that he's not going to hand me like a pamphlet uh, <laughs> like to join. Uh, to, to, he's going to come back down and walk. See, the great thing about Tyr, um, as a god, I'll tell you what, honestly, he's, he's gonna not fly as back <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you're no. getting chick tracks in hell. Isn't that the opposite way of how it's supposed to work? Do people remember uh, chick tracks? Yeah. <laughs> um, so as you all are walking, you've got a little bit of a walk till you get to the, the village. Are you all chatting? Because I, d- I don't want this to be like, go murder all the things. I want mm-hmm. people to have a chance to chat while on this lovely day in hell. Uh, uh, I- I think, I'm sorry, uh, I think Dahani would probably be asking Shaka a bunch of questions, given that she hasn't been with the rivals very long. She wants the gossip. So, <laughs> where's he been? What's he doing? What does he think about the rivals? Are they cool? This is really weird for my second mission with them. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so do you, do you just like fire off all those questions in rapid succession? Not rapid succession, but she's you get the sense that she's a little nervous because she was fine until she met the rivals. Now she's dead. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Uh, you know. So is uh, this normal? <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna uh, walk with like a Dahani. I'm gonna walk. A little far because I noticed she has this like dust that's still like coming off of her uh, her wings. So I like, do shake every so often. I'm so sorry. I'm, so I'm kind of like uh, being a little socially distant. Like I'm trying to keep my six feet you know, <laughs> wow. uh, from her. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I I basically say like, no. I mean, like we've been through a lot, but this is definitely the first time uh, we have been uh, dead. Apparently, um, we have been to, to like a vernus. So, a bunch of times though um and yeah i mean it's been a weird experience but it, it i guess cool is a way you could put it i mean we've all gotten a lot closer we've all uh you know um been through uh and slew many powerful uh beasts and uh you know and and, and but most importantly we've helped save a lot of lives you, you know we've we've like saved people in like a town called nightstone um, we like saved a lot of people in like in uh, in uh, three dagger three daggers alley in like Waterdeep from like a serial murderer, you know. So like that's what keeps me going is that we not only became closer friends and you know and got to test our combat skills together, but like we saved people and like that's what makes me happy to be a part of this squad. Oh, That's you guys cool. sound like real warriors of tear, you know. Are you butting into our conversation? Just, so... I don't know you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, like, I, my ears, I, I, it's, it's a little stereotype, but yes, I do hear kind of everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I imagine that as, uh, as uh, Dahani and I are talking, we sense this, like, trunk. Like, uh, uh, getting closer. Like between us, like, yeah. Yeah, getting closer and closer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, um, that's cool. They they seem like cool people. Y'all seem like cool people. Um, I'm just a little nervous to be dead. That's all. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, I, I, I mean. I've only known them for a while, but Rand, this seems really on brand for you. I'm so sorry. Like, this just seems like. Yeah. It seems like it's a, it's a usual adventure with me, you know? I mean, I, I, I try to give people fair warning once I met them, like, hey, like, I'm not the typical person you want to hang out with because I might get you some adventures that you're not prepared for. Well, I, 
<laughs> I, We're together. So, like, I turn to Rin, and I tell him, like, Rin, we've been through so many different things that we have survived. How, like, what did you get us into that we finally did not survive? Like, like, like why is... Why is this thing so much was so much more difficult than all the other stuff that we did? Because it was a dragon, and I'm afraid of dragons, so I didn't fight as hard as usual. Oh, so like you held back? <laughs> Just a little said. bit. <laughs> like, are, if you're scared of stuff, doesn't are, are, are you gonna go right I mean, and face it? I mean, yeah, but you know, we we've, we've we've we haven't fought a dragon, but we've been around dragons. You it know? looks we, scary. We, I yeah, scared. I mean it did. Why did but, you, you know that you know that's it? when you should like, you know, rise to the challenge. Wait, hold on, like... hold on. Rin, I need a history check because the rivals <laughs> have fought a dragon. Oh, have we? Let's double check. Yes. We Breaking the fourth wall, someone's season finale was facing a dragon, if we remember. I forgot, it's been a lot. Uh, I got a seventeen. <laughs> so you should remember the fight in Nightstone with that dragon. Can I still be afraid of dragons, though? Oh, you can still be afraid of them, but I'm you said... I'm afraid of dragons. He's afraid of dragons, so he wasn't fighting that hard. Most scared. people should be afraid of dragons. He was definitely terrified of that, this specific dragon, because it had a bigger arm than the old one he fought. <laughs> the arms are bigger. So I was a little scared. I'm sorry, Shaka. Okay, let me let me just... Okay. Since I have gotten everybody killed, I just want to list off all the things that I want to apologize for. <laughs> I'm sorry for that one time that I forgot to close the, the door on uh, when it was cold outside and you got sick. And I forgot that one time that uh, I took Salise's, like sword. I was playing around with it and I almost broke it, but I didn't tell her. Uh, there was that one time where Ash <laughs> wanted to say hi to me and I ignored her because I w was hungry and I wanted to eat. I'm sorry. And I got us killed, so here we are. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Wow. So uh, Rin is having his confession moment. Apparently, the confession booth is somewhere in hell, and he found it. He's having that, in case we don't get out of here, I must confess yeah. everything I've done wrong. What's the tone? <laughs> um, all right, so you all are... You all are traveling to this town that that was spotted um who what's your marching order or flying order if dahani is in the sky uh dahani is not in the sky okay um, uh and she might be in front or second okay like, i am I behind um we still haven't learned uh did, did you share your name uh let's see, no, I don't think yeah I, I, I said hi my name it's udhin uh Vidya, okay. but you can just right. call him udhin. yeah well uh shaka has like forgotten your name uh okay. so uh, he, <laughs> wow but 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 he for sure is gonna be behind you yeah be, because he he sure. like i said he has 100 percent trust that you so if yeah. he, he doesn't want you behind all of us so I think, he's going to be wh wherever you are in the order he's going to be behind you i think uh Odin's probably up front and just like leading the way uh because yeah that's the only thing he knows to do right now as a now feels like a holy mission that he's on in this mm -hmm. uh kind of terrible place you know, I'll get you guys back home. It's fine. I, you, you just, we just gotta go this way. It'll be all good. All right. I'll, yeah, I think I'll I'm be behind Shaka. Okay, so the Loxodon is, is in the middle then. No, I, well, in front, like, kind of pushing forward. As okay. Much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if he's very determined and yeah. being the way that he is being, a Dahani will be behind him. Yeah. So, kind of, uh, since Shaka and Dahani are talking, it's like Udhin and yeah. Shaka like, and Dahani, yeah. and, mm -hmm. then, uh, and then Rin. Okay. All right. Um, so, you all venture into this town, and at first glance, it looks like a regular town, nothing out of the ordinary, people kind of wandering about. And then you notice people don't quite seem what you would expect in a town. There's some skeletons walking around. There's a few, not Eric. They're like not quite Aarakocra. They're not quite, and I forgot the other bird people. Oh my God. The ones look like crows. 
Kenku. Oh, thank the, you. Uh, Ken- yeah, Kenku. I just blanked out on Kenku. I'm so sorry. Um, so there's like, and it looks like they're almost like a mix of Kenku and Aarakocra. And there's just not a lot of what probably were humans when they were alive in this town. But no one's bothered by you. They're not like, oh, God, humans and a Loxodon and elves. Actually, you have no humans because Solis isn't there. You're a non-human party. Imagine that. So they don't care that you're wandering in their town. Um, No one greets you, but they also aren't like strangers. They just go about their chores. What do you all do? Can I make an investigation to find the one that looks the most... uh... No, I don't say knowledgeable because you can't really tell if someone looks knowledgeable. But like the because like I want to ask somebody if they've seen Celise. So like I want to make a check to see the person that looks like they would have been paying attention to a stranger to a strange paladin. Sure. All right. And as a human, she'd probably stick out if they saw her. Yeah. All right. That's thirteen. All right, so are you approaching anyone in particular, or are you just asking the first creature that you come to? Well, I want—I guess I wanted my role to determine uh, if I found someone that would that would likely know. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm going to the to the first person I see. All right, uh, we have technical difficulties. Hold on, please. Oh. Oh no. Um, Yes, we we lost we lost our Luxodon, which you think would be hard to do. <laughs> so uh, let me throw up our BRB un, unplanned break. Mm-hmm. Sorry, um, unplanned break because we lost Masood. So hold on a moment. Wait, wait. Do we have a Masood back? He's back. But now the overlay is messed oh, my up. Internet chose to drop me. Oh at no! A, at a perfect time. I, I deal. Last thing I heard, there were skeletons walking about being normal, which is weird. Looks like Masood and Sharif <laughs> are switched. So, Masood, you're now Sharif. I'm not Sharif. <laughs> I knew you were Because you're probably closest in the order. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, bear with us. We're going to have a little bit of moving around. Just because of our names. Around. That's what it is. That's what what it is. Wow. Why you got to be like that? That's what it is. Why are you trying to suppress us like that? I didn't su- <laughs> Your internet is suppressing you, sir. <laughs> Your internet is suppressing you. Big facts. Like, whoever your provider is, is to blame. <laughs> RCM? You know what RCM is? Oh, yeah, is? that's you. RCN, KKK, both three letters. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Just put that out there. I'm going to leave that right where you put it. That's I'm, so funny. Yeah, get in the comments, RCN. Come at me. In in, in, in the uh, chat, it's like, ne- nice glass of Sharif. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You get to see this live. We normally don't do this live. There you go. All right, we're, we're back. Hopefully your internet does not does not do that again. I don't think it will either. All um, right. We'll um, we'll wait, we'll see. We're back in order. Yay. Yeah. Open your third eye. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So to <laughs> to come back to what we were doing, this is my first great experience DMing on the D&D channel. Internet messed up. I messed up. Um, so your check gets you a shopkeeper that is... A Kenku, but they're smaller in stature. They've got kind of grayish feathers. So maybe they were older when they were alive. And they're just like kind of, it looks like they're they're doing some math. They're, they're minding their books as you approach. Okay. Is uh, Dahani, would you still be near me? Yeah. Since like we were walking together. All right. So I'm going to like kind of like hit you on the shoulder because I kind of want you to use your birdness to talk to your bird friend like maybe there's some kind of bird greeting Wait, or like, are you trying to say that they're all alike i mean there might be a bird grip you know like like a like a <laughs> like universal a wing dab. like a wing dab. yeah like a universal <laughs> greeting you so know what? i'm kind of like i'm like tapping her on the i'm kind of jabbing her on 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 the wing to uh Wow. Um, you know what i'm gonna make you take disadvantage for racism <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, I could. I I don't know if they speak what I speak, but I'll give it a go. Sure. Uh, all right. I will float on over to this person <laughs> and uh, say, uh, "Hey, have you seen anybody strange walk through here lately? Strange and human." And it, it like, looks up, and you know how crows look very curious at most times, and covids are very, very smart birds? Mm -hmm. It, like, does that bird tilt, head tilt at you, and croaks at you, oh. and narrows its eyes? Like, who are you? Um, well, I'm new. And I'm looking for somebody. I'm on the hunt for a weird human. Sorry, Celise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> and I need um, to know if they've been through. Um, give me a persuasion. Because Ooh. while while the bird language you are speaking is kind of universal remember that you are an avernus so this bird is is a it's a different kind of bird and b mm -hmm. um it probably is not talked to an to an aracocra in a very long time right that's cool oh boy <laughs> how bad is it how bad is it a negative one? did oh, you say a so. negative one how do you have oh. a her charisma is bad. <laughs> and I rolled a one. <laughs> oh, so you failed. You failed so bad. Arrows um, fly out from the, the shot. <laughs> strike me. <the shots. laughs> All right. I need you to role play how bad you failed attempting to talk. Hey there, fellow bird. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I'm, I'm carrying a skateboard. I've got a backwards hat. How are you, fellow <laughs> <Asian>? <laughs> 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 Um, so I think, uh, one, I'm speaking Aarakocra, which this bird probably isn't. Two, I just look super obvious. Like, I'm like making hand gestures and trying to be really over the top about it. And it's just not working. <laughs> wow. So, so Shaka, as you see this avian charade that clearly is not working, what do you do? Um, so, like, they're speaking a different language, so I, I don't really understand what... But um, I would say from, like, the way that the interaction's going, you can tell that this is okay. not... They're like, I'm here, you're here, and we keep running into the opposite wall. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up, and I'm gonna, uh, uh, put my, uh, well, won't do that, um... I'll just say like uh do you, do you, do you speak common to the uh to the Kenku? To the Kenku, let me see if the Kenku does speak common. You're in luck, it does. Okay. Yeah, cuz I can also speak infernal, so I was going to try that. Uh, okay. That that could work too, but it it does speak common. Okay. Good. Well, uh, I'm I'm going to look at like the and go, sorry. <laughs> like, like, like I thought that like I might have had some like bourbonics thing. Um, <laughs> like, dude, I'm just know. gonna bird squint at you like. <laughs> but if you're already at Aarakocra, how do you side eye? I don't know. Like, turn your entire head right. Right. <laughs> right. Just... Yeah, exactly. You, you gotta turn your whole head. <laughs> um. All right. So then, like, I'm just saying, like, hey, have have you seen? Um, a uh, a armored human paladin. Um, I, I guess in the last. I mean, time is weird in Avernus. So I guess, like, I'll just say, just like recently, yeah. have you seen like a armored human paladin come come through this village? All right, I'm rolling to see if the bird is going to be honest or not. Um, oh, you're in luck. The bird feels like telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Um, it puts it closes its ledger and looks at you. It's like brown skin, long. I forget what you 
I forget what humans call them, but yes, we've seen her. She was seen wandering down the road. She didn't stop and talk to anyone. She just looked very confused. Hmm. Uh, down, uh, is down the road the same direction that? Yeah, I exactly. Was, like, so. Yes. The okay. Yeah. So imagine like when you're, if, if you've been to a Ren Fair or something where shops are kind of lining each side of it, where you'd be like, the outside is facing like the road. So yeah. when the Kenku like is like down the road, they're like winging their way toward the way you eventually will go. Okay. All right. Well, then I will uh, kind of do like a sort of like a like a tip hat kind of thing and say thank you, thank you for your uh, for your uh, directions. And she. Uh, she she gives you the the avian equivalent of the nod and goes back to what she's doing. Okay. Has 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 the honey like recovered? From... I'm I'm not there anymore. <laughs> wow. You're like I left. I left. I'm out. Um. All right. So 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 that I uh I tell the rest of the party that you know that um that they just see her go 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 down the road and I say hey we should keep on heading uh down that way because i don't think she's in this area it sounds like juru is guiding her the same way uh he's guiding us you know uh truly what a blessed day for us all here in hell where it is terrible <laughs> and i'm sweating so much uh, uh day you know, let's, yeah what a blessed day <laughs> dahani's gonna walk over to you and she's gonna beat her wings in your direction and oh, there you go. Probably like won't help because yeah. it's Avernus and hot, and she's also probably gonna blow some dust in your direction. And like he like unclips uh, his cloak and like takes it off, and he, he's wearing full plate armor, like just like in like I have no idea why it's so <laughs> hot down here. I like don't get it. God, it's fine. Whatever, just get out of here. I will follow. I will follow. <laughs> All right. Um, are you all investigating anything else before you travel down the road? Or are you just glad to get some info on where Salise is? Um, so you said it's pretty far, right? It's like pretty well, it's, far. It's far well, in terms of how far you can see down the road. Once you get walking, it won't seem as far. I'm sorry. Uh, look for some food, like some something some food or some water or something you're looking stuff. for infernal food yeah i do i want to see this i mean like if, if it's a long walk you know what i'm saying like i might the like closest bar <laughs> so you're looking for um, a bar so you want food and you want a bar is this, this is what you're telling me i yes. mean is there like an ice cream truck is there a bodega <laughs> like can i get a wow. flavor ice do like, you really want to get a road you... beer? Is that an option? Just like, like <laughs> you... is that legal here? Is this like New Orleans? What's going on? Wow. So, <laughs> yeah. so wait, y'all want to go to a bodega in hell? This is what you're telling me. An infernal bodega. I would like a, a quick refreshment of a uh, beer. All right. I, I would like to see if there's some food. I'm not saying I will consume it, but I would like to see if there is the option of what's going on. You know, you never know. Right. Okay. So you all walk for maybe another half hour, and Shaka, you start to smell your favorite food, mm. just unbidden as you're walking. Rin, while you can't really smell a beer, you know the sounds of a tavern, and when you hear it, you know that there is merriment, and more importantly, beer to be had. Mm. Um, Dahani and Udin... Do you, what do you do? Or are you seeking food? Are you seeking nourishment or drinking? Um, I think the thing that Odin wants right now is like, I think like an ice cream cone, like something like really like cool and refreshing and um, yeah. Okay, Odin, you hear the chimes of a cart that makes you think of when you were young and you would get shaved ice and ice cream from these carts as a kid. Mm -hmm. And you hear those chimes. Dahani, what are you looking for? Um, Dahani isn't particularly hungry, 
but upon hearing that everybody else is thinking about food, she begins to probably smell um, like fresh figs. Okay. Um, but she's also a little curious about the war machines. So, I mean, she's probably going to be keeping an eye out for one of those just to kind of get a closer look at one because they looked really interesting. Okay. So you small figs. So the question is, the food is kind of to the left and, and Ren, since you were seeking the, the refreshingness of beer, you hear those, those noises kind of to the right. Do you all, how do you want to do this? Do you want to stick together? Do you want to get food? I, I can go get us ice cream real fast and then come right back. Like it could be, uh, like, how, what do you guys want? Ice cream and like burgers. runs away into the bar. Into the <laughs> wow. He's just out of here. <laughs> he needs it. He needs to be. He needs the beer. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine, uh, Dahani will say, but. Uh, yeah, if, if Rin darts off, I got to go follow. I got to make sure he doesn't. Uh, okay, do well, so, so I'll just get ice cream for me. Okay, cool, guys. Uh, and like kind of cuts the other way. This is bad. This is bad. But I you did I, this to yourselves. I mean, you're already <laughs> dead, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. What, yeah. what could go wrong? Uh, yeah, yeah, but no, I, 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 yeah. I, I do want to chase after Rin because he has, you know, I'm gonna make sure that he's all right. Can I make a? It's a. I wanna like. I don't trust the sound of these bells in hell. Okay. Like, how can I? How can I test that? Like, it feels like this feels like a a temptation, like against you like you know what i mean like if yeah yeah you could do um do a religion check i know that sounds weird i have a reason just no, religion. No, no, it's cool i'm i'm here for it considering uh considering that tear has compelled you yes. literally ah i got a natural twenty. i <laughs> nice. swear oh my god you scared I me i love that reality. <laughs> i got very excited i that see 23 egg. yeah Oh yeah, yeah, you are so suspicious. Like Tyr doesn't even yeah. have to like reach out with his remaining hand and like, touch you on the shoulder. Ice cream cold in hell. I don't understand. Yeah. yeah, not only do you know it's not right. Yeah. As you get closer to where the bells and the chimes are, you can see the demons that are there trying to lure you into eating this infernal food. I because as far as you know, it'd be your beautiful, delicious ice cream. <laughs> But they're basically serving you gruel and making you think it's what you want most in the world in that moment. I see, I see. So the, the mirage is kind of like displayed. I see what's actually underneath it. Yeah. Uh, I like. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Like kind of like back, literally like reverse step my way back where I turn around and just like run and uh, try to reach with everyone else. Uh, you it's all a trap. Out. Don't eat anything. It's all a trap. It's gross. Now, how far away did you go from where? Because Rin just dashed off to the bar. He yeah, can't right. hear you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So think... there's only Dahani left to heed your warning. Uh, right. Are we that? C can I? Will you let me roll a perception to see if I can hear that and stop? Uh, listening. Give me yeah. a listening check. Uh, what would listening be? I mean, it's still be perception. E, it's perception. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Then go ahead with perception, and I need to close All that right. character sheet because it's not mine. Okay, nat twenty. Oh my god! Hey, is, is that the D and D Beyond dice or your dice? It's the D and D Beyond one. Nice. I tried it, and it gave me all ones. It's fixed. It's a scam. You got a B. <laughs> at that nat twenty. Oh yeah, you hear our our Luxodon friend loud and clear. Okay, so I'm gonna. I, I, I'm not even gonna try to explain to Rin. I'm just gonna grab him and try to stop him uh, from moving. Well, I'm gonna try to grab him while I'm saying, like, in a true uh, Star Wars fashion, I'm like, it's a trap! And I'm trying to grab him to uh, stop him from running in there. Hey, I'm uh, gonna go! All right, contest his strength because he wants to go and you you ran up on him. All right. What's your nice What are you. both of you? What's your strength for both of you? Oh, uh, thirteen. 
Okay. Yeah, I just rolled a. Uh, oh, nine. Yeah. Well, you did not manage to stop Ren, so f- grabbing him failed. He, like, squirms out of your arms like a slippery child that doesn't want a bath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, that's how I imagine. <laughs> and he, like, darts into the bar. What do you do? God damn it. <laughs> um, I mean, I got to go in there and try to convince him to not get anything, so I'm going to go in there after him. All right. Um... So while you're doing that, uh, Udin and Hani, what are you up to? Uh, I'm still running after them, I think. So you're running toward the bar. I think I, I caught up with uh, to Hani and be like, yeah. I'll stop them. Like, it's, it's no good. Like, please. Okay. Um, do I, did I see the direction that Rin and Jaka ran off? Yeah, and you heard Rin's, like, Shout about wanting beer. Got it. Uh, well, they went this way, so uh, let us mosey very swiftly. Uh, yeah. And then the high is like, pew, because her speed's like a million. <laughs> yeah, you and the, you and those wings. Wait, wait up! I can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even. It's not even her wings. It's just her feet. They're very good feet for moving. Good feet. Happy feet. <laughs> Oh God, she has Eric Coker happy feet. <laughs> right. Is there a penguin Eric Coker? Is there like? I asked that very question. Yeah. I think they should have a swimming speed instead of a flying speed, and then they're good to go. They're in tropical <laughs> climbs. It's perfect. I'm gonna oh, have wow. the next home Well, next season, Dahani is suddenly a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Dahani, you've changed so much. Um, all right, so you have you have. You're all now in this infernal bar. Rin, what are you doing? Because you got away from Shaka because you were determined to get this beer. I want to go to the first person who has the nearest cup that can offer me an alcoholic beverage at this time during Avernus. So the bartender. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the bartender. Oh, okay, I thought you were like, like the nearest person holding it. Like, right. oh, like I'm just that thanks. Done that. You're just like, give me your drink. Yeah, I need that thing. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be the, so. We'd have a a bar fight in the first half hour. Or the hey, first that hour. works. That works. Oh why did that? Why the ha- what happened to rivals? Well, they had a chance to get out of hell and. <laughs> <laughs> um. So as you approach the bar, because clearly you are thirsty for mm. something. You find a tiefling who's, you know, like, imagine in a Western saloon, except he's not dressed that way. But he, he is, he's actually dressed very elegantly for someone who's a bartender. And, you know, he seems very regal, very well-mannered. And he is named Alexander Nair Duell. Ooh, what a name. That is his name, because even though you're in hell, he still has a name tag, because bars. Um <laughs> So you approach Alexander Ne'er Duel, who is a, a tall tiefling, darker red skin, horns that kind of resemble ram horns, but they are done in a way where if he was a human, you would think of someone who has really well done braids. Um, okay. And he he notices your approach and he, uh, he just pours a beer because it's it's hell. He knows what you want. And he, he puts it on the bar. It's like, that's what you want, right? Well, yeah, I'll take I'll take that. Yeah, that's fine. That's you know, I came in here for a reason. Might as well start drinking out, you know. Mm. Ren grabs it and then starts starts pouring uh, the starts drinking <laughs> the liquid. Have, have 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 I caught up? Am I within like range to try to stop him from drinking this? Yeah, because imagine like a regular bar, like kind of like the bar we've gone to IRL. Mm-hmm. They, yep, yeah, that is not more than 30 feet if he ran right in to where the bartenders are. Yeah. So you are in range to try to grab the drink. I mean, he's he's gotten a couple sips in. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I mean, he was thirsty and the bartender was not going to stop him. Yeah, so even the it, bartender knew knew what he wanted. Without saying anything, it, uh, remember you are in hell. 
I know. Um, yeah, I know. How is like a, uh, you know, like a new version? Well, I was about to say a very local Jersey thing that probably no one would have known, <laughs> so I stopped myself. Uh, does, does anybody know what, what like a Wawa is? Oh, yes. yeah. We, there's Wawa. Yeah. They're they're all over Philly. Wawa's in, in Illinois? No, no but they're in Philly. Yeah. Okay. I've never yeah, seen one a, here, but I know what it is. Yeah, it's like a new age Wawa. You just walk in. They, give you <laughs> they know what you um, want. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, even though he ha- has gotten some already, I'm gonna try to um, knock this glass out of his hand. So I'm gonna try to do like a unarmed strike. Uh, unarmed strike on the glass. Whoa. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's a that's a lot for just a glass. Of your I mean, I'm worried, man. Like, like I'm worried that you, that you're gonna get us into something worse. I mean, uh, so yeah. let's roll. All right, and my bonus, uh, 16. Oh, yeah, you you grab that because that beats Ren's strength score. And you grab this beer, and it, like, just goes flying because it's still a liquid. And it Mm -hmm. lands all over the patron next to Ren. So you've now thrown beer on some random person just trying to enjoy a brew after their shift at the Infernal Factory. Shaka, what in the advertis are you doing? <laughs> wow, you're that drunk off two sips? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah, 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 he is. A little, um, little bit. I'm gonna I turn was having to, a great time. I'm going to turn to the patron and say, um, I'm so sorry. I bumped into my friend. Um, can can I buy you a drink to uh, to make up for the for this accident? And the patron gets off their bar stool. And they are not happy with you at all. They like do the like the stereotypical in a bar fight, they just kinda like wipe the beer off their face. And they look at you. You bumped into your friend. Yeah, I was I was in a hurry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, Remember, don't make him drink anything. It's not good for you. This place is all crap. <laughs> it's too late. I had just about this much already. It's, it's we're good. I, I, I'm sorry that my friend bumped my class. Uh, can we pay for 15 of your drinks? Just for that. <laughs> Hold on, Rin. Do you got soul coins like that? Do you got soul coin buy everybody drink money? Well, I shock him I have some. Wow. Right. I think. I I I I've been through his bag a few times when he sleep. But I he might have enough to pay for drinks. I think it's it's fine. It's okay. All right. I am uh going to start backing away uh holding Rin or trying to bring Rin with me um, because I don't really want to uh, cause any more trouble. And so the patron that you got beer all over is like, I thought you were buying replacing my drink. Oh, yes. Right, right, right. Um, Don't be rude, Shaka. So so I I imagine I have something I can buy a drink with. Uh, Do you? Uh, can I roll for that? Uh... You can roll for it. Um, and for those that don't remember, this is what a soul coin looks like. Oh, you can't see it because the camera. Um, <laughs> yeah, if someone so can I... find a picture of a soul coin, that'd be great because yeah. so... you can't see it. Oh, there it is. So I guess I can roll like an investigation in my bag. Uh, you guess. could, but remember, you haven't been in Avernus long, but you have been in Avernus before. Yeah, um, I've been before. I mean, we definitely had a lot of soul coins. I don't know if I have one right now. Um, well, it's not like you went out and planned to get eaten by a dragon. Yeah. Uh, actually, n- n- no, no, know what? I'm going to go to the bartender and try to uh, persuade the bartender to uh, give me a replacement drink. 
You trying to get that infernal credit line? At yeah, the bar? yeah, exactly. Uh, so you can roll. try. So let me roll persuasion. And I will roll for the bartender. Ooh, 21. Oh, wow. You so beat the bartender. My, uh, this one set of dice has never liked me. You so persuade him. Please show us what your bartending persuasion looks like from one tiefling to another. Sure. Uh, so, so I walk up and like, I'm just like, bruh, bruh. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And then, like, I kind of like I like tilt my head toward the the uh, the uh, patron that I spilled the uh, beer on. I'm like, bro, bro, bro. Come on, bro. You know. And then, like, he 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 knows what I'm talking about. So he gets he just pours like whatever that patron's drink was and puts it in front of him. It just tiefling co, you know, like I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Red comes you know. up to this shaka is like, "Are, are you guys brothers, bro? Yeah, yeah, brothers. I, I can see y'all. You're like, like yeah." <laughs> Hani would have made it to the bar, and she's just gonna grab Ram by the arm and lead him outside. Like, come on, I <laughs> can't get a hug, Hani, please. Yeah, I, I, I give you a, a one-armed hug and hey, carry hey. you out in the. Let's oh, go. we're going for fresh air? Okay. Yeah. All right. Go. All right. <laughs> wow. So, Ren, since you still drank the infernal beer, because apparently you didn't remember anything from the last time in Avernus mm -hmm. and not eating the infernal food, yeah. um, I need you to give me a constitution saving throw. Oh. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Oh. uh 16. All right, you are saved from your own folly this time. Nice. Yes. Awesome. Um, you're still far drunker than you normally would be from a few sips of beer. You know, Rick is pretty the... drunk off of just a small sip of beer anyway. Wait, so. Okay, you're an elf. You're not like a ghost. You're not a waif. <laughs> um, but, you know, you are. it is far more potent than you are used to, even as mm -hmm. an, an elf and everything else and all your adventures. So you're, you're a little buzzed for, okay. for the duration. At least until you can either rest or if, oh darn, Sleece isn't here. She can't lay on hands. Oh, well, I guess she just got to suffer with the hangover. Mm, um, sounds like real life right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> suffer. Wow. Um, so you have rescued Rin, who's tolerable. He's a little more drunk than you'd expect. Um, and your new Loxodon friend, Udine. Are you going to now head toward the direction that you've been kind of divinely pointed to? Or what is your choice before uh, we get a little further along and then take a break? Um, I think uh, I'm going to, well, I'm going to bring Rin over to Udin and uh, say that unfortunately your warning was a little bit too late. But that's on par for Ren, based on the approximately three days that I've known him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, he'll be fine, maybe? Is there anything you could do? Well, let me, let me see what I can do. Uh, can I do lesser restoration on him? Sure. Is that, will, that, will that cure his uh, drunken stupor? That for the sake like of something that will really hurt me. I don't know if I want that. No, don't even... no, it's fine. Trust me. And uh, for the sake like... of narrative, let's yeah. run with it. Please, <laughs> the two of you, please act this out for us. Uh, like Odin closes his eyes and like raises uh, his mace off his belt, and then I uh, like hold your shoulder with the other hand and raises his trunk, which starts to glow, uh, and then like. The moment it touches your forehead, it's like all of the hangover, like the headache is like concentrated at one point, and then he like inhales it through the the front of your head uh, as it dissipates. Oh, I feel so so limber, so so <laughs> so <laughs> strong. <laughs> and he like sneezes in the opposite direction. Uh, it's like oh. Always, always do it into your elbow, guys. That's the safest <laughs> way. Um, that, that's good. Yeah. You feel better? You're good? I feel slightly just more energized somehow. Wonderful. Good. Terrific. Yeah. Uh, that was that was a wonderful thing you did. I appreciate that. Hey, man. Um, 
we we all we all do what we gotta do sometimes and uh, tear guides me in the way that it needs to be and here's just the thing i look it's your fault that i'm here so i feel like you're the reason if i actually keep you alive in order to get out i'm just being plain and honest like you know you're it's my mission from here to give you redemption so i thought i already had redemption by apologizing that i stole shaka's uh, the toothbrush wait you, oh Oh, I didn't tell him that one. part yet. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know the Shaka would have heard you, right? No. You're all uh, together now. Well, I will Ren is look it out as if he hopes he didn't hear that. I will, I will look at Ren and just say, "Look, we got much bigger problems. We'll we'll handle that later." Okay, there's some other stuff I stole too, but I'll talk about that later once we get out of here. Okay. See, no, this this I got. My mission from here is to. Like, look at this forsaken soul. Who else can I say? <laughs> have I, have I, do you know? We actually meet on Wednesdays. Really, just like, it's really chill. We just get together and, like, we hang out. Like, I, I think you'd really like it. There's a cool, cool bunch of dudes. I mean, right now it's just me, but it will be a whole bunch of dudes. I swear. <laughs> Let's 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 talk about that after we after we are alive again. Right. right, right, right. I mean, hey, I'll see you there. See you there, huh, friends? Yeah. You got me in. You got me feeling energized about life or yeah. death again. And tear? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. So it's which, fine. Let's which, get there. So which way were we supposed to go again? Uh, and like, he lifts up and uh, points out the direction. Oh, just right over here. And we'll get there. To get fear. <laughs> wow, you are so lucky Solis is not here. You are so, so lucky Solis is not here. Yeah, you love I it, love man. it. You are committed to the bit. I love it. Uh, All right. So you, you wandered down for maybe another half hour. And as you are wandering down toward what you hope is Fort Knucklebone, you notice vehicles closing in, not to surround you, but just kind of like, those look vaguely familiar and for those of you that have been in Vernus before, which would be Shaka and Rin, give me a history to see if you recognize or remember what those are. All of us, or no, just you and uh, Shaka. Okay. Because uh, Dahani, nine. okay. I got a two. Ooh. So apparently, death has destroyed your memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you see these these large machines that are that are driving around. And there's no inkling of remembering what they are. Uh, but as you keep walking, you just hear what sounds like the wail and cry of despair coming from them. As they, they pass, not too close, but if this was you in the mortal world walking down a road and a cart came this close, it'd be a little, little too close. Um... Mm -hmm. But all you can think about is the sound of despair and wailing as they pass you. Do any of you pay them attention? Are you trying to ignore them? Or do you react to the, the sound of despair that you hear from them? Uh, I mean, it's a weird place. I mean, I, I definitely pay attention to them, but I don't think I feel any, uh, like I need to do anything. Like I still kind of want to stay walking toward our destination. Okay. Same. Uh, Dahani has been interested in them, so she's like, they're gonna. She's gonna keep walking, but you know, like when a really cool car drives by and you're on your way somewhere and you still kind of like stop and go look at it. She's gonna do that. Okay. Dana Ren, are you paying this attention at all? Uh, I'm gonna get my answer last. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Uh, yeah. I think Odin can't help but care because they feel like real despair and terror and like i think that i think guys maybe we should help them uh so you're trying to help, help the vehicles like no there's someone isn't someone in pain in there like like when the like whales of despair does it sound like someone being tortured inside is that like um, the sound gets louder the closer the vehicle is and, and tapers off. It doesn't, it's not like, oh, someone's getting beaten or anything. Right. It's, 
Is it like someone wailing? Like, oh! Yes. Like, they are in eternal torment, but you don't know if they are actually being beaten in there. Um, Or if it is someone, like, just at the helm making this noise. Uh, If we don't want to get close, then maybe we should get as far away as possible. Well, I mean, they're not obstructing our, uh, like, we can still walk to where, toward where we are, so let's just keep walking. I mean, if they get, if they start to do that, then we could deal with them, but okay. as of now, like, let's just, let's just keep going, because we gotta find Solis. But when would it be faster if we did get a vehicle to work? Uh, I mean, yes, but they're, these, these vehicles are being driven, we have to, like, carjack them or but something which we, we should, should try, try it we should not try to do so oh, uh, I mean but yeah but also we'd be carjacking somebody who's probably a demon so it would be like just <laughs> to do it like I don't, I don't know this sounds like a better idea wow is, you... it, is it moral to carjack if the person we're carjacking is a bad person yeah i'm not sure if tear i'm not sure if tear would agree with that uh i think he would i think i think he would i think for the uh, for the greater good of of rescuing uh one of the disciples from this evil incarnate who a uh, tear wouldn't care come on evil incarnate oh Okay. Nice. I, I really didn't intend that, but thank you. Yes. That's great. That's great. Are you all going to try to save the vehicle and possibly the driver? Um, I am because I want to get in the car. I think we're split on this. <laughs> all right. Um, what would you all like to do? Because it sounds like Eugene and Ren are all about it. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to split the party. Like we're still, we're newly dead, and we're in Avernus. So if if they are super committed and are already heading I, over there, then well, I will reluctantly. I, I don't want to say I'm like a fully committed to this. I, I'll say like, can I? Is there any way for me to get a sense of like how much further distance we have to go? Like, is it something like would? Yeah, would this truly be? I to gain an insight, it's like almost like understanding like an algebraic problem, like algebraic problem. Like how far do we have to go? Do I feel like the distance? And if we go at our speed versus going at that speed? If you go on foot, and I feel like I should ask that like if you give somebody five apples, how many does Johnny have? Right, 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 absolutely. <laughs> um, I mean, I can, I, I'll roll to see if this is like an intelligence check to like- No, yeah. well the thing is it would be for you, since Tyr is communing directly with you, it would either yeah. be roll and see how much Tyr tells you, mm-hmm. or it's hot, you're uncomfortable because you're a big Luxodon. Yeah. Rin has already had to be healed from being drunk <laughs> after mm-hmm. two sips of a fernal beer. Um, I'm in any wearing plate armor in right armor. Yeah. um so i would think that the loxodon would take every opportunity to not have to walk in heat yeah. and hell um okay get just masood roll me a d uh d20 and tell me what you get gotcha. nine Ooh, that's that's interesting i'm going to roll a d20 Okay. I got an 11. Mm. So, Tear does not make you fall out as he did before. But he does compel you and and make you understand that while you can make the rest of the journey on foot in a reasonable amount of time, it would be much faster if you did take one of these vehicles, which he he tells you are infernal infernal machines, infernal war machines. Um, the ones that are, the ones that are passing really close to you, the larger ones could take your party and you would get there probably in 15 minutes of driving versus maybe an hour and a half on foot. Hmm. Yeah. Tell the group, like, 
Nice. We should definitely just take it. Honestly, got like tears telling me it's the right thing to do. We're doing it like, and, and you know, I'm not one, I'm not one to wave around the fact that I'm a direct voice to a spiritual higher power. <laughs> and like that you could also have this ability if you join my church. Uh, but I'm just saying that in this time, we could really just really benefit from following his advice and his guidance. Man, you 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 like Creflo Dollar or something, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you don't even tie that much. I mean, you can give if you want to give, but I mean, like, it's, it's, like, it's really, it's all about going back into the, the community itself. Anyways, um, we should definitely just like, yeah, dude, let's go, let's, let's go kick some demon butt. Let's get a car. You know, I admire his enthusiasm. Sure. Let's steal like a big old cart. So y'all are going to steal the car? Is this what we're doing? I mean, I look, I, as I said, Shaka will reluctantly, reluctantly go because I can't just leave y'all to go do it yourself. So or maybe we can just borrow it and then give it back when we're done. Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. I think this is a perfect spot to take a short break while we figure out how they're going to steal a moving car, a, steal, <laughs> a moving infernal war machine, mind you. Uh, so fun. please go get some water, get some food, get a snack. If you need meds, please take your meds. And we'll be back in about five to eight minutes because uh, everybody can use some water in a stretch. See yeah. you then. All right. Uh, give me a moment. BRB.
Hi everybody, we're back. We are here. Oh. All right, if uh, stream, if X Split wants to cooperate, we did it. We, we said eight minutes. We were here in eight minutes. Okay. Nice. We, we did it. Excellent. I like it. Yeah. We're all, we're punctual rivals. We're not running on CPT right now. We're doing it. We're making. It. <laughs> no, no, we can't be on CP time. We can't be on CP time. All right, welcome back. I hope everyone got a break, got some water, stretched, got any meds they need, a snack. Um, so yeah, when we left off a few minutes ago, the rivals decided to carjack an infernal war machine. So let's see how this works out. Um, the next time a war machine gets close enough to you that would suitably carry the party what do you all do and how do you want to roll initiative? Because the, the war machine is just minding its business while the person driving it is. But you have taken upon yourself to liberate this war machine from its driver. Um, am I able to fly up and see if there is a point of entry next time it swings by? Uh, you could... Um, if you want to fly near it or fly even around one as it's driving and give me a perception, feel free. I would like to do that. All right. Oh, thank you. you you've redeemed yourself. Uh, that's a 23. <laughs> oh yeah. You, you notice that even though it seems like a solid top to the car, you do notice what looks to be like a, a handle, like imagine old fridge handles mm -hmm. on each side. So if someone either grabbed onto that or if the machine was standing still, that'd probably be how the door swings open and you can get in. So you notice okay. one on each side of the war machine. Okay. Um, yeah, I will kind of like, I'll like, I'll like fly along with it for a bit, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, so you're just, it are you doing that Superman like glide with it next to the. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do I see like any windows? Um, You do, but they're like, this is like a Mad Max car where they're dark because okay. it's a Vernus, so there's always a glare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to swoop past and then like, as I see the window, I'm going to go. <laughs> and then like fly past. Oh my God. Okay. All right, so uh, Dahani has intel for you all. Did you, was there any, like, stone equipment on it? Was What was it made of? Was, was there any part of it that was made of, like, stone? Uh, no, most of it looks metal, okay. aside from the glass. I can maybe work with metal. Metal is a type of stone. I could maybe do things. Um... But yeah, there's handles on either side where yeah. you could like get into it. Mm. Mm. Maybe we could try that. Wait, what if what if we made a pit for it to fall into and then we got it we like took them out from in there? Cause uh but then like lays out a brief plan. I have uh what's it called? Stone shape and meld into stone so what i was thinking is i would like turn into the earth go underneath the car and then open up a gap that oh. would cause the car to fall into and then like everyone would have to like then we could just like get them there you know it would be real easy like once you separate it like but then we can't use it yeah, I, mean, I, could, I could make the earth go back up too after we have it you know what i mean but like but there could also like be a... damage to the war machine yeah you're gonna like yeah yeah i mean hey you, we gotta assume there's some sort of shocks on this machine, right? there's gotta be some sort of like absorption like these roads aren't smooth nobody paves these roads <laughs> both of you to assume cotton we don't need roads <laughs> I mean, you are in Avernus. Do you need a road, really? Um, I mean, that's just one idea. But I mean, that's just, I, I'm just saying that that's one idea. I, I, obviously, do you do anything else? Okay. 
We could I mean, also just ask. Oh. Well, I mean, they're driving, though. How are we going to ask? We, uh, how, how, how are we going to stop them to ask? I can go flag them down. I can try and flag them down. <laughs> oh, no. This is Avernus. I wouldn't trust flagging down. I think they might run you over. No, no, no. Flag uh, them down, and then we drop the car and, you know, oh jump them afterwards, you know? So out of out of care out of DM box, yeah. are you sure you're actually a cleric of tear? Oh yeah, this is. Imagine being a follower of tear, being sent to hell, and and like being chaotic good in the first place. That's that's the entire. Oh, thesis. there it is. You know, like, mm-hmm. like there it is. I'm I'm a good guy, in a place of bad people, and I'm sent on a holy mission. I can do whatever I want. I'm kind of yeah. a crusader. When you think about it, I mean, you're you know? basically like a colonist. Like you, like manifest you're like, destiny is yeah. a weird concept to have manifest for yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what is it you all would like to do? Yeah, I'm gonna go try and flag it down. Okay, okay. and then the rest of you, what are you doing? I'm, I'm gonna. Just I want to stay head. back. I'm. I I'm just, just shaking my head. Yeah, I'm just gonna. So no, so we're not okay. This fall, that's fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna. Yeah. So wait, are you are you doing? Are you taking Odin's plan? Or are you waiting to see what happens with Tahani? I think I'm gonna watch what happens with Tahani in the moment things go south. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cast <laughs> uh, meld into stone and okay. just, like, meld into the earth and like just keep an eye on what's happening. So at the moment, so when it needs to occur. Okay, can you explain to the audience and me yes. what the spell does? Absolutely. I would, I would be honored. Um, <laughs> let me read. Uh, so it lasts eight hours, first and foremost. Uh, you step into a stone object or a large surface enough to fully contain your body, melding yourself and all the equipment you carry with the stone for the duration. Using your movement, you step into the stone at a point you can touch. Nothing of your presence remains visible or otherwise detectable by non-magical senses. Um, while merged with the stone, you can't see what occurs outside of it, and any wisdom checks you make to hear sounds are made with disadvantage. Um, but that's okay because I have an advantage on my perception checks, so they'll even out. You remain aware of the passage of time and cast spells on yourselves while merged in the stone. And can cast spells on yourself while merged in the stone. Um, you can use your movement to leave the stone where you entered it, which ends a spell. You otherwise can't move. Um, minor physical damage to stone doesn't harm you, but it's partial destruction or change in shape to extent you can no longer fit within it expels you and deals 6d6 bludgeoning damage to you. Cool. All right. So my second pl- part of this, of <laughs> like erupting from it, uh, the whole ends up might not be the best idea, but at least the first part to disappear until I'm needed, I think still sounds sound. All right. Okay. All right, let's do this. Dahani, what are, what you, what you doing? So um, I'm going to, um, so I can move pretty fast, especially while I'm flying. Do these war machines look like they're going faster than me? Which is, if I'm flying, 70 feet around. No, they're not. They're not like racing or anything. They're they're just. It's not highway speed. It's more city driving speed. Got it. Uh, so then, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to fly, uh, maybe a couple, maybe a hundred feet in front of. We'll say 150 feet in front of the the war machine that looks like it can hold us all. I'm gonna pull out my quarter staffs and I'm just gonna start waving them like a like a flagger on a play on an on a runway. <laughs> okay, please please act this out for us. Sure. Um. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab pencils. This is gonna help. Pencils. So I've got my my little flags and I'm like uh I'm like waving and I'm like go that way and I'm like stop <laughs> I like twirl wow. them a bit. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm I'm gonna roll a couple dice for this to see if the people driving the warrant machine notice. 
Okay, the person on the left driving the war machine, because remember we had two drivers the last time we had war machines in, in the game. Mm-hmm. The person on the left brushes off like, what is this weird Eric Hooker doing? However, the person on the right is actually paying attention to Dahani, and they actually try to like step on the brakes. And because both of them aren't doing it, the war machine kind of lurches. It doesn't stop, but it, it lurches like when you're driving an, a stick for the first time, you have no idea what you're doing. Mm-hmm. So Dahani, when you see the war machine kind of start to, to jerk, like it can't decide which way to go, what do you do? Um, I keep doing it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a> response. <laughs> I'm like, go that way. Stop. Stop. Yeah, this will be stop. So stop, stop, stop. <laughs> So you're you're stop you're so the person on the right is is paying attention to you, um, and they they reach over and grab the person on the left. It's like hey 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 stop 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 we're gonna mess up the gears. So the war machine actually comes to to a very creaky stop. Um, it's it's loud. You hear gears. You're like ooh that's the transmission. Mm, that could be bad. So. So yeah, the, the war machine has stopped. No one's getting out of it, but it has stopped. Uh, Udin, what are you doing? I am in stone on the ground, like kind of next to the machine. Like I, I step up while it's stopped. Um, and like, as I get close by, I like, kind of like fade into the earth behind it. Um, and I'm just waiting. Okay. Um, and like the way it looks is like truly it's uh as someone like doing the gag bit where they're walking down the stairs um but it's like actually descending into the earth as it <laughs> okay so you're like walking down <laughs> <laughs> all right okay all right. all right um shock is going to look toward wherever he sees the i guess the door of this thing and try to um, stand a little bit away from it. He's just looking to see who or what is going to come out, is, is going to exit this thing. Okay. So he's keeping his eye on that door. Uh, Ren, what are you doing? Uh, I'm a little, I'm still a little scared, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna slightly go closer to the honey just to make sure. Me back up. I got you. Appreciate it. Um, so once I see them stop, I'm going to get a little bit closer. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably land on the on the hood of the war machine okay. and do the do the bird head tilt and be like, <laughs> "Oh my god! Do you say anything? You're just waving." No, I'm like, "Hi! Can you open up or something?" So you really want questions? them. You really want them to just get out of this car? Uh, or I guess, can you talk to me through the windshield? Is it, I guess it is a shield from the wind. <laughs> Hold on. He's like, what have I got to do? <laughs> Literally, truly, wow. And you're so lucky the dice do not like me. So you see the one of the doors slide open like the DeLorean. Okay. And yeah, so it's like, imagine DeLorean, but like, uh, what were the people from the latest Mad Max? The war boys. Imagine like a war boy got out because he's that pale. Mm-hmm. And he, he sticks his head out, but he's also got a weapon at the ready, kind of like, why did you stop us? They're asking um, you, Dahani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we get a ride? <laughs> he just looks at you like for real like this is what you <sighs> he just yes what were you gonna say all right i'm gonna look at this uh war boy uh and like i say we lost our friend and we just need some help. I'm really sorry to stop you like this, but we really, uh, but we really need some help. Uh, get, 
get into our friend faster. It's only about about 15 minutes down of that way um, and it shouldn't really uh, help. Uh, sorry, it, it like shouldn't really take you off your path. So um, please can you help us? Do we look like Infernal Lift to you? Oh, why ever? Dear. Oh, no. Uh, can I... Uh... I mean, you could try Persuasion. Yeah, I'm going to try. I was thinking Intimidation or Deception. but Whichever actually, you'd yell, like just to. Yell them out. Just, just yell it. You know you want to. I'm with yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think Deception makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'll just try j just Persuasion. I'm trying to hit at the soft strings of of, of, of their heart. Uh, so let me roll. I'm with this eight intelligence plan, please. All right, uh, 17. All right, so you have persuaded the war boy who, he ducks his head back into the war machine. You can't hear him, you but you hear people talking and he finally pops his head back out after a few minutes. He was like, five, ten minutes, you say. Fifteen. So if you add to five and the ten, yeah. He 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 scowls at you like mm, like you pushing it. You really pushing it. And he's like, Well, this is your good deed for the day. He just looks around like you know we're in Avernus. Good, Avernus and good deed. All right, I just need to stop talking. So, like, Sh Shock is just going to, like, look down and stop talking. Because <laughs> I feel like you're making it worse. <laughs> but it was like, it was like good deed for the stop. day. He's going to stop talking and just, uh, I guess, wait for uh, the war boy to gesture us in. Yeah, so you see a, what would be almost a, like a hatchback pop open because they've seen the... Well, actually, no, they haven't seen the Luxodon. They don't know that you have a Luxodon with them because you were melded with the Earth. Mm. Um, are you going to make yourself appear or are you going to just follow as Earth? I think I'm probably like when they start stepping into it, I'm going to pop up behind them and walk in. They're like, oh, thanks guys. You know, real, real friendly for you. You know, it's nice. And we've been with them. Hi, Odin. Nice to meet you all. Very nice. Uh, hi. So I've been with here the entire time. I was just, you know, we can never be too careful. It's a furnace. Oh, so you're like very large, right? Like you said at the beginning. He's uh, an elephant. And 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 a laxodon. So I let me look at my stats particularly. Mm -hmm. Description. Just want to make sure you can uh, fit in this. I wear four. I'm six eight, and I weigh four hundred pounds. <laughs> It's an infernal war machine. Remember yeah. the the things that Mad Maggie yeah. lent you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're yeah. fine. It's yeah, yeah. this <laughs> is meant for combat. You're okay. Um, so you you get the ride, but like the war boy that let you in does like a double take at at seeing Udin. Like, you, where did you? Where were you hiding a Luxodon? Like he doesn't say it, but he keeps like kind of looking back. Like, where where were you? I was here the whole time, man. Like, really? Hi, nice to meet you. Have you guys heard about cheer? Not the time. <laughs> Look, Creflo Dollar of the tier. Um, so the war boy just, he just like, it's muttering to himself in infernal, like, I'm going to get docked for this. That Luxodon's going to, going to kill the suspension. Like he's just muttering, but it's in infernal and it's low enough, but he's, right. he's just regretting being persuaded into this because he, uh, he was like, fine. One lift won't won't kill us we're already dead we're in avernus give a mouse a cookie you know yeah I mean, elephants in your home yeah rin you did come with them right mm. yes yeah. no yeah okay i'm just I'm making just like, sure that we didn't just leave you no i just i just like you know i'm all nervous about this whole thing because like you know avernus and demons always scare me and i got us here in the first place so i don't want to say the wrong thing by like you know getting us like eternally well, I guess we're dead, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know, it's really feeling <laughs> bad about making things worse. Yeah. No, you're, I mean, for, be glad for the high persuasion check. Um, but, you know, you eventually, about 15 minutes on, because I don't know how they're telling time in this war machine, but at about 15 minutes of driving, 
War Boy stops, back door opens, and motions for you all to get out of his car. Ooh. Thank you. I'm running in, and I'm going to go, like, <laughs> I get man out. into the back seat. Yeah, I get out and say, thank you so much. Thank you. Very kind. Blessings of cheer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, so you are on the road, but for Ren and Shaka, this place is very familiar. Mm. Um, give me, just give me D20 rolls and I will let you know how familiar it is. This isn't a yeah. check per se. I just want, I just want to see what you roll. 19. Wow. Mm. Okay. Good rolls. Oh, uh, there you go. Uh, 18. Okay, you are in luck. Through some providence, maybe of tear, maybe of your own dumb luck in the afterlife, <laughs> you have been dropped within a few feet of Fort Knucklebone. Ooh. Oh, wow. And, you know, Rin and Shaka would remember this because they've been here before. They've been to Avernus before. Yeah. And... Um, from what Udin told you, you know it's where you need to be. The question is, one, are you going to get in successfully? And is Udin going to be able to guide you to exactly where you need to go? Can I check on that second part of that question? Sure. Like, how is that sensation that I was feeling earlier? Is that the warm cool? sensation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that feel like now? Um, as you look around and see the fort in the... in near to you you feel not uncomfortably warm but a comforting warm like uh for those that may be a bit more on the spiritual side a a upg or unverified personal gnosis so you feel very much the tears with you in this moment mm -hmm. and you are very near where you should be you are nearer to thee guys we're here like perfect that was a lot better than trying to 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 machine jack that yes honestly yes i want to say very smart idea i i didn't know there were bad ideas and brains for me that idea was a bad idea i'll <laughs> say I'll, I'll, I'll be the first one with it you know tier doesn't like people who are proudful and i'm not the first one to be so i will trust your guidance moving forward all right so you are following your luxodon friend Toward the doors of this fortress, um, are the are the two party members who've been here before? Are you going to speak up, or are you just gonna like see where Tyr is guiding you? Uh, I'm definitely gonna speak up. I'm definitely gonna tell Dahani and Eden like, hey, um, you know, uh, this is where we were. This is where we got the war machines where we initially were. Uh, we met. Uh, people Chuck Clonk and Mad Maggie. Um, good news is we were on pretty good terms with them, if I remember, when we left, so we shouldn't have any problems if they're still here. Um, you know, if we need a war machine, we can probably grab one since we help advertise their latest model. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think we're good. I think we're good. Cool. How big is this place? It's a military fortress, so it's it's a decent size. All righty. Do uh, do we see anyone there? Anyone else that you would recognize, or just see people in general? Just anyone else in general? Yeah, yeah. you see soldiers. Um, those in the infernal army are wandering around, and it's very much like uh, people are coming in and out, whether they're on or off duty. Um, because it's daytime and there is trade happening, the doors are open. So unless you are incredibly suspicious, which with this group, who knows, um, no one should stop you from trying to go in. But let's see what happens. The doors are open. You see people just coming in and out. Uh, but there's no one you recognize, per se. All right. Well, I know Shock is pretty confident from being here before that. He will be he won't get like stopped and refused entry so he's going to suggest to the rest of the group 
that we just try to just walk in and uh um because i'm assuming that like um udin's uh you know his sense is here so I w i'm gonna suggest we just try to walk in and f and follow that sense all right uh, yeah i have a feat called uh all eyes on you your accent manners and figure of speech and your appearance mark you as foreign um Curious glances can be a nuisance, but you also gain the friendly interest of scholars and others intrigued by far off lands. Um, to say nothing of everyday folk who are eager to hear stories of your homeland. And I can parlay this into attention to access people. Um, is there any way to like kind of almost act like a caravan coming up? Like, oh, you know, we're no, train. yeah. Because you don't you you're not like it's it's not you don't have anything that would mark you as traitors or anything. But you yeah. all, you know, like you all are in various stages. Well, not, I almost said undress. Wow. Very, you all have armor. You all have weapons. So you wouldn't be out of place in a, because for all people know, you could be mercenaries. You could be there to enlist. You don't look so out of place that someone be like, hey, you. Right. right, right. Cool. 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 Um, yeah. Then I guess I follow uh, Shaka and make our way towards the front gate. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Um, you pass through the front gate. No one is particularly concerned because they, they've seen tieflings and Aarakocra and elves before and Loxodons. They're not so out of place where people are just going to be like, hmm, strangers. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you had wandered in or used that feed, it would have been a whole different thing. Sure. Um so you go in, you you get in, and it's kind of like when you were on the road around that village where there's a tavern, there's what looks to be barracks, and um, you can see the inner doors to the fortress. And they are open because, again, there's trading happening. People would want an audience with whoever's in charge here. So it's not... It's not as strange if you go that way, but you may have more difficulty just walking right into the heart of the fortress. I guess I'm gonna turn to Din and like just just say, "Hey, man, which way is your uh, is a uh, tier guiding you here?" Um, let me see. Uh, and I think, do I get a sense? Is it about like, do I know who I need to? talk to in, in a way or just like where that direction is pulling me within this board um so let's see because there's one of two ways you could go yeah do you want me to roll mm -hmm. oh no i'm rolling you are okay. very you are very lucky these dice like you mm -hmm. <laughs> um that warmth that you have felt all along the tears guidance um as you walk forward toward the heart of the fortress it gets warmer and you feel comforted like like a warm blanket. Mm -hmm. But if you veer off and go towards like the barracks or the bar, it turns to an icy fear of dread. Um, cheers pulling me in this direction. I think we're, we're almost there, we're close. All right, so this time I would like everyone to make me, cause of course I can't remember I can't remember words. I would like everyone to make me a perception check to see if you notice anything amiss as you get toward the heart of the fortress. Mm. Well. Well. 14. Uh, I got 19. Okay, so Udin, because he's also being guided by Tyr, what he notices is there's a strange glow once you get through the main heart, the main doors of the fortress and where it looks like people are, are trying to get to and there's a queue to go and wherever this is. But that warmth, that guiding feeling from Tyr is impelling you to go that way toward the glowing doors. Um, the rest of you, you're like, eh, whatever, they're doors. We just need to go that way. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> no, here it is. And uh, I go towards the glowing doors. 
put my hand on it and open it. Uh, well, you're not to the door yet. I'm going to roll and see if anyone notices the, the, the rather persistent people. Oh, you're very lucky. The guards do not notice you. They don't notice anything on the ordinary about your group. Uh, because the guards all rolled sevens and fives, so you're mm. very lucky. I'm glad you didn't make me roll a stealth check, because it's minus one. Oh, no, this wasn't going to be a stealth. This was going to be yeah. more of if the guards recognize you, yeah. or recognize that, huh, new peop- new-ish people going toward this room that not a lot of people are allowed in. Mm-hmm. But you're walking with purpose, like you belong there, like, I have an appointment, I should be here, yeah. I can speak to the manager. Yeah, and my name is Karen in another language. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have invoked the cantrip of Karen in this instance. <laughs> and you and you are you get to the doors and you feel this calm last pulse of warmth and whatever you need to do to get back home and get to the mortal realm is behind these glowing doors. This is this is where we need to be. Are we ready? Uh, ready as ever. Yeah, let's just go. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So, what is your order going in the doors? I'll be last. I think okay. I'm. I'm still first because I'm opening it and like kind mm-hmm. of guiding. So I think yeah. Uh, I'll be spurred because Shaka Shaka's walking like he's he looks like he's been here before. So I'm yeah yeah that's yeah that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be like more assertive and 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 also kind of the back of his head he wouldn't want to admit it but he's he's a little like I don't want to say jealous but he, he's he's feeling like this guy just came in our group and is, and is like leading us places like why are we being led by so he's trying to like the new guy assert himself, like like <laughs> well, I'm supposed to be lead, like I'm like like one of us should be leading this group, not this new like you know Loxodon. So he's trying to like nobody's keeping you from saying that, by the way. Well, yeah, well, I'm I'm just saying that like Shaka wouldn't say that, but that's what he's thinking. Like, so he is second, but he's like almost trying to like, uh, like get nothing. first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like he's like trying trying to make it seem like he is like you know. You know, like I'm, I'm running this. You know, uh, all right. kind of thing. So, yeah. All right, and by the way, y'all just have totally forgot about Fine and Salise, right? Oh, oh, where is it? Isn't this where, like, aren't they linked? I think that, uh, like, maybe, maybe. Yeah, not. that that was. I think we are, as a party, we are thinking that yeah. mm-hmm. that okay. is linked. So, so it's not like we forgot. We just think they're. That wherever you're supposed to be is also going to get you. Yes. Silly. So, like, yeah, yeah, that. Like, yeah, so yeah cause, a conduit for getting back to. Yeah, the yeah, because because what what like Shock is thinking is since Uden is being guided by Tear somewhere, that Salise was also guided by Tear somewhere, so that they're going to, you know, to the same place or or to a similar place. Okay, fair. All right, Uden, you are first in. Are you are you just walking in? Are you like? Do you have a weapon at hand? Or are you just opening the door? Uh, I think my mace is at my side, but okay. I pull up my shield, and my other hand pushes the door open. I just walk with my shield forward. Nice, take it. Mm-hmm. All right. So Udine, since you are first in the room, what you see are two things. One is a giant mirror so if you've ever played dragon age inquisition it will remind you of the giant alluvian that's Mm -hmm. at the temple of mythal yeah and how it glows and it's blue and it's in the background but before you can get to that portal is a giant infernal goose as in the no good terrible goose from the goose game but it's really really mean and really big you have found the goose of the goose chase terror strikes alluvian's heart Stare. These are terrifying. They're, they can break. Honestly, a normal goose can break your arm. Like, the, yeah. like they can. They're yeah. very strong. And so this is. If how large is this goose? The goose is a. They the goose is a uh, large creature. Oh gosh. 
Um, so if you are almost seven mm-hmm. feet tall, um, the goose is about eight and a half. It is a large creature because it's almost covering this mirror. Yeah. Is it like cute? Where have you ever seen a cute goose in your life? I mean, I think the goose in the goose game is is uh, kind of cute. He's a little adorable when he's taking people's keys. So like, and, and, and so like, an infernal version might be, you know, infernally cute. Okay. <laughs> Ask him. Just ask him. Uh, I mean, it, and... okay, hold on. Just because you've asked now, <laughs> because you've asked this question, <laughs> I need, I need to just, I need to see you try to persuade the others to get the goose is cute. Okay, sure. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll roll on that. What am I, I going to challenge this with? Insight? No, I want Sharif, or I'm sorry, I want Shaka oh. to try to convince y'all that the goose is cute before things <laughs> happen. Because now that you've said this, you know I couldn't let it go. All right, well, I rolled an 11. So. I mean, maybe if it was tiny, but right now that thing is very, very scary and terrifying. Also, we should close this door, right? Because... Are we afraid the? No, we are afraid the goose will escape. Yeah, and also I don't want anyone else to come in. You <laughs> see us? <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. Uh, is the goose doing anything in particular? Yeah, I like we inching it around the side of the back of the room. Oh no, no, no. the goose is awake. The you're not that lucky. Oh, because the creaking of the door opening, because no one goes in this room because they know what's in there. They know it's a giant goose. <sighs> so they never go in this room. So the creaking of the door has awakened the goose. And you are now an in initiative. Mm. Oh, okay. Good boy. It shrieks and it honks at us so angrily. Oh, it does. It absolutely does. Yeah. I have an 11 for initiative. Love the giant goose. Okay. I have a 24. Sit. I got a 12. And Dahani, you have a 12. No, Dahani has a 24. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Masubi got a 12. Okay. Hey, they're derivative of each other. Now I got to roll for the goose. Mm-hmm. The goose. I gave it because this is a homebrew goose, y'all. Uh, the goose has 15, so it will be the honey goose, Udin, Shaka, and then Ren in initiative order. Dahani, you are up first. I am. Uh, it's a goose, it's a goose. And it's just looking at us. It is honking. And it's like, have you ever seen goose geese ready to fight? Yeah. That's so like the wings go- up. Wings up. Like, where, where'd you come from? Like, like where you don't belong in here. Okay. Um, so, oh boy. Dahani is going to try and talk to the goose. Uh, yeah. In... <laughs> Is this another? Yeah. Is this another "Hey, fellow bird" moment? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, she's gonna speak like normal, like I guess not Aarakocra, but the the other the all bird language, so Orin. So she's gonna be like, "Hey, uh, cousin, uh, why are you in this room? And can we just scoot past you, please?" <laughs> The goose is so not having it. The goose is so what not up, having cause? it. What up, cuz? Okay, Red, you gonna sell me a fake painting next? <laughs> uh, no, the... no. Like, we ain't cuz around here. <laughs> <laughs> you are out of luck because this goose has been in hell so long. It does not remember the, the language of its bird folk. Because again, <laughs> it stays locked in this room for a reason. Um, it can speak understand infernal but it cannot speak so even if it understood you it's not like it can talk mm-hmm. it's not an Aarakocra or a Kenku it cannot talk right. 
<laughs> um, so the goose just like, you know, like that horrible shrill noise geese make. It makes mm-hmm. that noise at you. So oh. was that your action trying to talk to the goose? If you let it be my free action, I'm just going to bonk it. <laughs> You're going to attack the goose. Mm-hmm. All right. Hit. Go for I'm it. Gonna, gonna hit the goose. All right. Two attacks on the goose. Of course, staff. <laughs> no, probably not. That is a, I think it's a, a 14. No, that does not hit your goose. Okay, so second hit might hit. That's a 19. You do hit with a 19. Mm. Yeah. That's only six points of damage. So I think the first hit, I go up, but it shrieks at me, and I'm like, that is not a noise I like. Um, and then the second hit, I just kind of like bonk it on the wing, like, stop it. Okay, how much damage was that? Um, Just six points. Okay, so the goose is next, and it is not happy you booped it at all. Boop the goose. So the goose, because you you attacked it first, it is focusing on you, Dahani. That's fine. Um, The goose, which is loose, because I had to, it, it is going to try to bite you. Oh, it's horrible teethy mouth. Oh, you are so incredibly lucky that I missed. Because even with even with a bonus, that was a miss. It was only nine points. Mm. So the goose, like, and this looks weird because my I keep getting, like, blanked out green by the screen. thing. I keep getting green screened. But basically there's, like, a... a like a chomp because geese have teeth on their tongue if you did not know this um and it like it's not like it intentionally misses it just is so surprised at like people in his chamber it like goes to smack dahani and misses and like hits the floor of the chamber and then bounces back because like oh that wasn't what i was trying to do uh next up is udin okay um i run forward um, and as a bonus action cast shield of faith on um, what's called uh, my arrow poker friend Tahani yes Tahani thank you uh, and so you get plus two to AC and then nice. I'm just going to take a swing at um, this goose all right swing on the goose is it do you get just one attack yes just one attack all right uh, go for it so okay. does a 17 hit no you are just shy so oh, no. what does that look like of of a swing uh, and a miss on the goose i think like it comes up and like he readies uh his mace and like starts swinging it around a little bit uh on the wrist strap and then uh comes across like tries to swing, but he makes so much noise with like the jostling of the plates on the top of everything. He's also like each of his steps, like the goose can feel it in his webbed feet. So when he goes to like swing on the foot, he just like steps up and it just completely misses. Um, Hopefully I did get its attention. That's all I I really want. Yes, by the time it's its turn again, we'll see where its attention is focused. Uh, Shaka, you are next. So Shaka is going to cast a tr- strike uh, to get an insight into the target's defenses. Oh, uh, that's so dirty. So he's going to point his uh, finger at the goose's uh, eyes. Okay. And uh, try to get that insight on, you know, what he's weak to. Uh, the goose is not actually weak to a lot. Um, it is resistant to cold fire and lightning. It is entirely immune to poison. Okay. Um, and it has dark vision. It is a bit. I don't want. I almost said sensitive. What's the right word? Uh, fire may have a better effect than not, especially if you're hungry and, and might want a goose leg. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sweet. All right. I is that know. your action or does that count as a free action? No, that's the action. That's it. That's my turn. All right, so you've used the assess materia on the goose. 
Ren, it is your go. <laughs> All right. Uh, as we have learned that fire works against this goose, uh, I would like to cast Firebolt to okay. try, try to make this goose a little crispier. Um, does Firebolt, do you need to roll anything or does it just uh, hit and you do damage? Uh, I think I, I think I had to roll for this one. Yeah. All right, roll for it. Hey, let's see. Uh, I got an eight. Oh no, mm. that so does not hit the. Goose. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hit that. You don't even hit the dirt on the ground in front of the goose. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So how so does that look with your whiff of 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 trying to <sighs> trying to um, sizzle the goose? So uh. Ren, uh, you know, takes his hands out and he's like trying, like he just heard the information about fire and he like is, I guess, on a command saying like the words he would say to make the fire rise and he says the wrong ones and then like his hands turn to ice and they're like really cold. Oh. It's like, oh wait, oh wait, oh, wait, hold on a second. And he's like, <laughs> like trying to like keep on under his armpits like he just like stop the cold. Okay, it's too cold. Cold, 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 cold. He like turns around. Real quick, I'll fi I'll fix this. I'll try to do it. I'll try to do fire soon. I'll try to do fire soon. It's too cold. <laughs> All right. Um, we are back up to Dahani. Um, although, but Udin was the last person who attacked the goose, so the goose's attention is not fully on you. Okay. Um, in that case, I mean, that doesn't really matter to Dahani because the thing we have to do is hit the goose and make the goose not be a goose anymore. So she's still just going to hit it. All right. Take your two attacks. All right. All right. That is a 24 to hit. And that's cocked too. And a 26 to hit. Mm. Uh, yeah, those both hit. Nice. Okay. Mm. So that was the action for for 18 points of damage and then I need it to make a constitution saving throw oh okay what do I have to beat uh, 16 I believe my DC is and the goose has failed <gasps> it is stunned Ooh. Oh. because if I heard correctly it is not immune to that you are correct all right, so uh, gonna follow those two strikes up with bonus action strikes for flurry of blows. And now I have advantage. Um, that is a 22. Wow. Is that just and... damage? Or no, no it's no, stunned, no, no. so you're hitting it anyway. Yes, um, so no, it, it, I still rolled a hit, but it was at advantage, but that's a hit and a whiff for seven points of damage. It's a total of 25 points of damage. Okay. Nice. You, the goose is, uh, goose is looking a little wobbly. And the yeah. goose is stunned, so next up is Udin. Wobbly. Um, okay. I am going to cast I'm going to cast uh, Guardians of Fate. So, uh, what happens is a large spectral guardian appears and offers the duration of an unoccupied space of your choice. Um, any creature hostile to you that moves to a space or starts their turn must take 20 radiant damage on a failed save, uh, a dexterity saving throw, or half as much on a successful one. Um, so, yeah, and, and I think what we see up here is um, actually just like a giant. Um, even like ethereal, a bigger elephant that's like actually an elephant, not even a lactodon, just sort of like populates the space uh, where the goose is. Uh, and then, yeah, on its turn, uh, that's make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um, and then on my. So should I do the dex saving throw now or? No, 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 it's on, it's, it's on the turn. So okay, so next. Different. Okay, yeah. so next round. Right. Nothing happens until then. Um, but then I'm going to. Can I use? Uh, no, I can't cast this cantrip because that's an action. Um, 
Yeah, okay, let me see. Um, no, I can't cast any more spells. Uh, yeah, that's uh, my turn. I just stand up. Okay, so Shaka, you're next. All right, uh, Shaka is going to, uh, after seeing uh, like Dahani just just beat the mess out of this thing, right? Um, is going to use Eldritch Blast, uh, uh, back up a little bit since I have a nice range, and uh, do okay. his two Eldritch Blast beams. So I'm going to roll to hit for both of those. Yeah, because there's no. And you have advantage, don't forget. Yes, I have advantage because of True Strike. Uh, so on the, does that mean I get advantage on both beams? Yeah. All right, so the first beam, get a nat 20 on the first beam. Oh! Mm. So, oh no. um, d- don't need Cook advantage on that goose. one. Cook and, <laughs> and on the second beam, uh, let me roll in for my advantage. All right, and I get a twenty one a, a twenty one on the second beam. Oh, both of those so hit, and you crit on the nat twenty. All right, so, so, uh, so I think it's fair to say that with all this damage, for, at least from the nat twenty, and then your additional hit, you have successfully murdered the ever loving Avernus out of this goose. Oh my god! So, wow. how do you want to do this? All right. Um, so, you know, after I see the goose take a couple hits, as I said before, Shaka backs up a bit. Um, th- the first beam, he really concentrates. Um, he, he actually uses both hands to shoot the first one as opposed to trying to shoot them like simultaneously with both. Because he's still a little out of practice. Um, so, he, so he wants to make sure he has a nice base, stable shot. Um, and he just aims right, right for the goose's neck essentially um so like the first one just uh, hits it there uh, i'm assuming the first one does not kill it so i have to do the second one as well um so like as as the first one is like still like going he kind of takes one hand off and then he shoots the second eldritch blast with the second hand so now he has both blasts coming from both hands simultaneously both toward the same spot um both going to the uh, goose's neck um, hopefully I can slice that neck, but if not, uh, I'll let you decide how it Oh, goes, yes. The, it you does. got a nat 20 and both of these hit. Tell us how you take out this goose. Okay. Yeah, so, like, I aim right for the neck so that I can uh, decapitate this goose is what I'm trying to do. All right. Um, Tell us what so that looks like, like. Yeah, so, like, so like you see the like Eldridge, Bass, Eldridge Blast light just searing through through the neck and then all of a sudden you just see the, uh, the the beams pop out through the other side and then the goose's neck t- rolls onto the ground and and the body kind of like waves around for a bit and then crumples onto the ground it's pretty big so it's loud and like it's like a lot of vibrations around um and in the head hits the ground and rolls toward us and lands i guess in front of uh whoever would be the closest who i think would be Dahani at that point, so it rolls in front of Dahani. <laughs> you know, just out of care, well, out of DM box, you just murdered a goose in front of an Aarakocra, and its severed head rolled in to stop in front of her. Yeah. Think about that for a minute. I'm feeling an emotion. I'm not sure what it is yet. You know, <laughs> I figured she'd be all right since, since she uh, beat the mess out of this thing uh, in the early yeah, round. So I I'd decapitate it though. She'll be all right. <laughs> like how you do my cousin like that. Right? <laughs> that was my cousin. <laughs> uh, Rin, although the goose is quite cooked, is there anything you want to do kind of to get that last pot shot in? Uh, I just want to take it and eat it. <laughs> reminder, <laughs> you're still in hell. Last war- reminder from your DM that you are still in hell. But hell you get... Yet. I mean, you could parts. You do start to smell what sounds. You do start to smell cooked goose Mm -hmm. because Eldritch Blast basically is is fire and heat. So there, there is this very good smell of 
of cooked goose in in the cavern. <laughs> and it turned I, into one of those like video game cooked turkey uh, or whatever. Yes, a street of rage <laughs> chicken. Oh yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking at first. That's what I was like, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Suddenly, you like knock over the. You have a pipe. You knock over like a trash can. You hear that <laughs> noise, and you have all your health back because you found this chicken or this goose. Um, yeah. So even though the goose is killed, you still have to make the choice. Do you step through this portal and go back to the mortal realm of Faerun? Or do you stay in Avernus? We haven't found Selyse yet. I figured yeah. once, once we killed the goose, Selyse would either appear or like be here like tied up by the goose or something. So we still have to find Selyse. Yeah. Um, all, actually, all of you give me a perception check. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I feel like she wouldn't go through the portal without us if she found it. That's an 11 for me. Okay. I got a 6. Wait, no, I got an 8. Sorry. Let's see. I got a uh, 19. Okay. Sharif. Or Shaka. Oh, sorry. My bad. I was uh, reading the, some funny stuff in the chat. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, this is perception, right? Correct. Um, Thirteen. All right. So, of all of you, you're you're looking around. You're you're looking around. You still see the portal. Udin sees a shield on the ground, and he recognizes it because it does have the symbol of tear on it. And it seems very new in in relation to the things in this room. Guys, is this your? Is this your friends? Yeah, that's Salisa's. Mm -hmm. Where was it? Uh, it was just right here. I just picked it up. Um, yeah. Um, can I investigate the shield, see if there's any kind of flu on it? Maybe some debris or someone's uh, blood or something on it that I can use to try to figure out anything else? Sure. All right. Okay, not great. Uh, that is a, well, sorry, 14. All right, as you take the shield from Udin, you notice the red that normally is paint, some kind of enamel on the front of the shield is sticky, and you realize mm. it's blood. Mm. All right, so, guys, I, I think there's some blood on here. I don't know who's, whose it is. Um, but there's some blood on the front of this shield. Mm. Doesn't look good. No. Sorry, not looking um, good. Can I... Is there any... Can I detect magic? Can I... Yeah. Like, uh, about, like, I just want to, like, yeah, I want to, like, just see what's going on around the shield, if there's any, like, yeah. I didn't take magic. Yeah, go for it. Um, what do I see? Um, so you feel that this shield is also touched by tear. You know that this is someone who is at least sworn to the same god you are. And when your hand hovers over the rune that you also wear on your armor and your armament. Mm -hmm. You know that is the blood of one of your brethren. Mm. And the magic that you feel around it is something that she would have cast with her dying breath. I... In order to fight this goose or fight something along the way. I don't know if you're, I think your friend either really needs help or is beyond helping right now. Um, mm. no. I'm going to look around, 
I want to look around the room <laughs> and see if Same. there's. <laughs> Everyone's like, "No, this isn't okay." <laughs> yeah, I want. I, I want to look around the room and see if there's any more of this blood. Yeah, okay. Trying to trace it. Can I do yeah, I just want to see. Yeah, all of you, anyone who wants to can um, do another check or even walk yes, around the room. Nothing's, I mean, the goose isn't going to stop you at this point. Yeah. Like an investigation. All right. I got a dirty 20. Okay. Um, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 18. Okay. I got a 9. Um, Shaka and Udine. You walk around and you notice that there's splotches leading toward the mirror. That it's, it gets darker. So either something dragged Celise through the mirror or she came through and fought with this goose immediately. You're not sure which it was, Mm. but the trail lead you back to this mirror and it's and this is the only sign you've seen of her and either she's beyond help as Udin said or she is um, fighting the fight of her life on the other side of this portal looking for you all can mm-hmm. I since uh, let's go uh, detect magic lasts 10 minutes um, okay can I sense uh, so the spell can it says the spell can penetrate most barriers but it is blocked by a feet of stone so okay uh can i sense that presence that i feel on the shield on the other side of the barrier at least like nearby or anything or how close did you get to the mirror um i think well okay first can i what do i feel from the mirror and then Um... uh, gauge how close i want you don't feel anything male- malevolent from the mirror. It's you just know there's very strong magic, and there this on the other side of this is life. Cool. That this is the mortal realm lies through this mirror. Um, I get pretty close to it, and just to see if I can feel it. Yeah, she's on the other side of that. Um, hold on. Let's roll for Salisa's life. Not a thing I thought I'd ever say as a DM. <laughs> While um, yes. while Udine is doing that, is this was this goose big enough to eat a person? Ooh. Ooh. Um, not well. Celise was almost well. I shouldn't say was. Celise is almost six feet tall. So if the goose had tried to eat her, you would be finding parts of her. Okay. The, oh, I yeah. know that sounds macabre. I'm sorry. No, um, but no, okay. there okay. there would have been a lot of blood and armor bits and scrap. You. The okay. goose did not try to eat her. Okay, um, no, that, that prevents Jahani <laughs> from chopping open this goose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then um, Shaka's investigation found no blood leading out of the, like, out of the doors we came through? Correct. Mm-hmm. This shield and the blood trail you found is the first sign, and it's leading definitely toward the mirror that uh, the goose was guarding. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think... At that point, Dahani would say, uh, I think we should go th- get her shield and we should go through the portal because she's not yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she went through the portal and, and I, I think it'll be worth risking it um, to see, okay. you know, because there's a lot of blood and mm-hmm. she would never leave her shield behind like voluntarily. Exactly. So I, I think we need to bring it with us and go through. All right, everyone's agreed on going back through the portal? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, can we resolve what I sense on the other side? Yes. Okay. So as Udin is carefully reaching up toward the mirror, you sense a very pale, very, not pale, very low life force it's on the other almost. side. Faint where if if there's not healing received soon-ish, it will be no longer a life force that you are feeling. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, we gotta go. Uh, you I, you I say think... that Dahani's already yeah. <laughs> Right, Dahani's <laughs> like, I'm out! I, I, like, I look around, they've already passed me. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll walk through. All right, um, Rin and Shaka, are you going through as well? Oh yep. yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I have... Uh... 
I'm assuming I have her shield. Yes. I don't think anyone else has. Yeah, I have her shield. So yeah, I'm going through. It's pretty yes. Pretty heavy for me, but I'm. I'm oh, you're a tiefling. You got it. You're strong. I got it. <laughs> um, as you pass through, it it feels like you've gone through like a pond, almost like, like you've had a little refreshing shower as you walk through this weird mirror portal thing, and as you pass through. You see more of this blood trail, and then you find Celise laying there, kind of staring up at the sky, breathing very shallowly. Uh, I cast uh, Mass Healing Word at um, a third level. I don't know, a sixth level. I'll, I'll burn it at my highest level, yeah. Okay. Um, what does that do? Is she regains 4d4 plus 3 uh, health. Okay. So I will roll 44. All right. That is a good chunk of health, probably. That is 3, 3, 6, uh, 2, 8, another 2, 10, and then plus uh, 3. So you get 13 back. All right, Celise is is not like it's not like she jumps up and she feels great. She yeah. she like takes a deep breath like like oh. And then she turns her head and sees Shaka and Rin and is like you made it out. I'm so glad. And then she she she's struggling to breathe, not like she's about to expire, but like you're here. I'm sorry I didn't stay, but I got pulled out. And he, and 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 she looks up and sees Shaka has her shield, mm -hmm. and she says, "Thanks for saving it. It's all I have of her." And then she passes out because thirteen points is good, but she was near the brink of death. Mm -hmm. um, but the party is reunited. You are all alive again. Yay! Hey. And you realize that where you have come out of the mirror is a part of Faerun that isn't familiar at all. You just know that it's a sunny day, you're all alright again, you're alive and somehow you made it through this infernal goose chase and that is the end of this adventure. Ooh, sweet! It's a sunny day, we're, we're, in, we're, we're in Philadelphia. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. We made it to Philly. Uh, made it to Philly. Um, and we, we still have a little time left, so for those that aren't familiar with our show, what we normally do is take in-character questions. Um, and especially I'd love to see if you have questions for Masood, because this is the first time Masood has played with us, so welcome Masood. Mm -hmm. And thanks for hanging out with us today, because I know three hours is a big commitment. Um, so, in-character, please put QUESTION in all caps before your question, and in-character, we will try to respond as best we can for a few minutes. This is my favorite part of the of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, playing is also my favorite part of the show. But I like that we take in character questions. Mm -hmm. All right. So questions. And, and I know uh, there's a del delay between and, chat and, 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 and I'm Tanya, are are you willing to answer questions for the NPCs like yeah. The bartender. The bartender. The, the goose. <laughs> sure. The goose will somehow the, learn to speak common. You know, the the, the uh, war boy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> of course, Danny. Um, so Danny uh, Raven Slap Monkey says, question for Celise. Did you fight the goose? Yes, I fought the goose and the goose won. I don't know who dragged me out of there, but someone dragged me out of that mirror before the goose took a literal chunk out of me. Um, all I heard was my shield clattering, and then some of this sounded like they were kind of from Jersey half the time, that I swore was duo, but I'm not sure if it's duo. All I know <laughs> is, suddenly I was on the grass, and I was thinking, this is it. This, this is how I go out, which would really suck to die to a goose. There's another question for you, Solis. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Is is Celise going to extend her oath of vengeance to include all goose kind? Probably. <laughs> the, the next time they have to camp and there's goose, there will be fowl on the campfire. <laughs> I, I like this next question. Um, Dahan, I mean, 
what do you have against birds? <laughs> I don't have anything against birds. I am a bird. These <laughs> birds just aren't nice to me. I try my best. I mean, what do you want? And this goose, we had to at least defeat. The decapitation may have been a bit much, but uh, yeah. Um, um, OD Mel twelve oh three. Uh, I'm I'm guessing this question is also for Damani. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what right. are your thoughts slash feelings on watching a fellow bird kind's head roll and hit your boot? Uh, well, I don't wear boots, um, but uh, I'm still processing that. Really, I mean, I'm not used. I mean, I'm not unused to bird kind dying around me i used you know back on schultz this was we fought some of us got killed it's the natural order but this is a really big head i'm still processing yeah shocky got kind of caught up in the frenzy frenzy of it my my my, my little overboard Uh, yes. Uh, sounds like Danny may have a question for you, Masood, coming in the chat. Okay. Um, a question for you, Ren. Are you going to give a review of the Avernus Bar? Apex. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, I will say that the service was very on, on top of it. As soon as I walked in, I was very happy with the the bartender already (laughs) knowing that what I wanted right away. Um, what can I say about the patrons there? I was not really happy with how they treated some of my friends, but I would probably return if I ever were to come back to hell again. So five stars. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Question for Udin. Uh, What do you think of this group and would you hang out with them longer? That's from Um. Danny. Yeah, absolutely. I had a blast. Uh, it was a good time, and nobody's goose got cooked except for the goose that need to get cooked. <laughs> um, and yeah, and now I have a fellow. Now I have somebody who I can talk to too about that I know. So like, I, it's making more and more friends. This prayer group numbers are only growing up, man. <laughs> uh, from our friend Panzer Lion. Hi, Panzer Lion. Uh, question: Do Rin's apologies still count now that y- y'all are alive again? Absolutely, yeah. It all worked out. Rin, I the rest of you. Would, I hope everybody's okay with it. He didn't we're, have we're alive, for me, so. See, Look, everything worked out in the end. Yeah, they don't really count, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> not to Shaka. Shaka, they, they don't count to me, but. I'm I'm still happy that uh, we made it. Nice. Another uh, question for Udin. Uh, at these tier get-togethers, will there be punch and pie? Um, really depends on dietary restrictions. Sometimes people are <laughs> gluten-free, so you can't have pie. But really, it depends on what people say. You know, we meet people with gluten-free crust out there. Yeah. I appreciate uh, his willingness to cater to everyone that needs. That needs those restrictions. It's, it's really nice. Go to, go to Trader Joe's, get that gluten free crust. <laughs> wow. Is there a Trader Joe's in favor in though? There might be. Yes. Mm-hmm. There has to be. Fantasy Trader Joe's. It's definitely yes. one in Avernus for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, another question for Udin. So many questions. Uh, did you ever expect to describe a visit to hell as I had a blast? Absolutely not. Um, truly, it was never a thing I, I would thought. But and it's a weird time being in uh, hell because you do things you never thought you would. Um, but thankfully, that stuff will stay there, right? Like no one will have to think about how I almost uh, carjacked an innocent <laughs> person and family to try to get to where we needed to go. What so happens in Avernus stays in Avernus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one of my favorite parts was with, with you justifying the carjacking as something so, Tyr would, would want you to do. Uh, absolutely. Right. So the, the entirety is, is this guy is very wise, but very low intellect. So I was like, what is that juxtaposition? It's like, oh, I can I can do this because I'm on this like I'm on this crusade. It's like that's like 
Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. It was, yeah, it was, that was an amazing moment. That was great. Uh, question, question for, for the, the Go rivals. ahead, Reese. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, what do you all tell Perrin what happens? I guess anyone can answer this one. Is how do we... How do we explain this to Perrin? Do we tell him this? Do we tell him any of this? I mean, I mean oh, sorry. What, was he with us when we fought the dragon? Because that kind of changes <laughs> what, sure. what, what that, that uh, scenario is. Now, so Perrin if, opted out of, out of that mission. Um, he was busy touring as a world-famous bard. Got it. So he might not even know that we died. <laughs> right. Nope. <laughs> No, nope. uh, and you don't know where in Faerun you are, so... True. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. yeah. All right, I, I think that is all we have time for, because we got about five minutes. And uh, I want to thank everyone for indulging me in this silly goose chase, literally. <laughs> um, it was fun. I hope everyone had a good time with me in the DM's chair. And uh, actually, next time... We do a one shot will be June 7th and we are rotating and our very own Eric Kokra is going to lead us on a merry chase of some kind. So oh, it's going to be fun. So yeah. let's see, uh, we'll be uh, DMing on June 7th and then season seven starts June 21st. Same bet time, same bet channel. Yeah. So um, going in the reverse order that we started, Masood, who are you? Where can people find you? What do you do on the internet? Yeah, absolutely. Hi, uh, my name is Masood. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Maruboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, yeah, uh, just keep up with what I'm up to. Uh, I'm a comedian based in Chicago. I do a lot of comedy stuff. Um, now doing a lot more virtual things because of this weird existence that we live in. Um, man, also, I, I'm just going to say it. It's weird. This is a weird time. Sometimes I just need to say it. I'm going to say it again. It's weird. Uh, yeah, you can find me online. It's mainly just like goofy things that I'm up to uh, and my weird hot takes on life and pictures of my cat. Yeah. Excellent. Is it me? It is oh, you. Yeah, it is me. Yeah. It is me. Hi, uh, <laughs> Lucia here, uh, the lady T playing uh, everywhere that I can have a username. Um, find me on Twitter. I'm, I'll be spending these next two weeks prepping for my one shot, which is going to be uh, very, very interesting. Um, I I hang out on Twitter a lot. Come talk to me. I love you all. I don't have anything else planned for the next couple weeks except for this one shot. All right, Sharif. Hey, uh, you can find me at SharifJackson.com, S H A R E E F jackson.com um posting some new science videos over there so you can check those out uh you can check out my tutoring service math looks good also linked off there um and uh on um, social media i'm under sharif jackson uh on twitter facebook youtube all that stuff uh reef jackson on twitch um and you can find me uh trying to upgrade my uh, Animal Crossing Island to, to five stars. Uh, that's my current current thing I'm trying to do right now. Um, yeah, so that is it. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, you can find me on socials on Twitter at I Am Brandon TV. You can find me here on Twitch at I Am Brandon. I'm starting to stream a lot more since obviously I have nothing much else to do. Uh, but yeah, you can find me yeah on social and Twitter. Uh, there's some cool stuff coming up uh, for next month. I'm super excited to talk about soon. So if you're wanting to hear that news first, I would say follow me on Twitter. And I'll be talking about that soon. And I was your DM for this wacky adventure. It's something I actually put on the D on uh, D and D Beyond. So if anyone would like to run this for themselves, I'm happy to send you the link or the copy of it. Uh, my name's Tanya. You can find me ever a cipher of tear. And other than seeing what Latia is cooking up for us on June 7th, next Thursday I'll be on the Wandering DM with our season finale of our Dragon Age RPG, which I'm DMing. And we are searching for the Wanted Apostate Anders. So if you have your Thursday free, 8 p.m. Eastern, join us over at twitch.tv backslash the Wandering DM. And then on my own channel, I'm spending a lot of time rearranging flowers and Animal Crossing. 
So if you like hybrid flowers or just islands, please come take flowers from me because I'm, my island is overrun with hybrids. Uh, but <laughs> everything I do is on Twitter, whether I'm streaming, doing this, or just arguing with people because I'm having a, a day. Cypher of Tear is my handle literally everywhere. So say hi, be nice, be nice to all of our cast. And again, Masood, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we will we will have you back at the table on June 7th and to yeah, see whatever really? Latia is going to put us through. Yes, really. Yeah. Yes. Um, I want to do a brief shout out. Um, yesterday, um, I was in a an alien universe one shot um, on twitch.tv slash holding action. The VOD is available. Um, it is one of the best games I've ever played. Um, nice. And literally the first time I've been so much in the feels that I cried on stream. But it's a great story. It's about four hours long. We take a break, but I just want to shout that out because it is a fantastic piece of RPG gaming that I'm very proud of. So twitch.tv slash holding action, uh, where you can check out the VO the VOD on that. I'm really proud of that. Yeah, well, and one last shout out, Pleasantly Twisted on Twitter, Twitch, everywhere else, did our fantastic overlay. Uh, so I don't know if she's taking more commissions or not, but the overlay we'll have for today and next week at least until season seven uh, was done by Pleasantly Twisted. So if you need overlays and she's got spots open, I highly recommend working with her. Amazing professional, great prices. Give her a huge tip if you do hire her for anything. And uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Have a good one. Bye, Bye everyone. Don't, Bye. don't leave yet. We have a fancy ending screen I want you to see. Ooh, I want to see it. I see <laughs> you want to see it? I showed it to you. All right. Bye, everyone. Follow everyone on the Twitters. And we'll have, um, we will have Masood on next week's. Goodbye. So have a good one. Follow us all. Thank you, our sponsors. And yeah. goodbye. Sweet. See you guys.